makes a run. Cool. Yeah, I'm good here, Ruben. Oh, those are the wrong ones. Oh no. Okay, I gotta fix that. So that's right. Players. Yeah, cool. That worked perfectly, actually. Dope. Alright, hey, Donut! Has Donut been in here the whole day? I wanna say he has been. I bet he has been. He probably has been. Um, so yeah, we got Rosa back at it again. We got Caleb versus someone. Oh, well, that's the name of the tournament. Huh? Rosa, right. Ah, right. I didn't realize. Yeah. Welcome back to Rosa. Rosa. Um, yeah. So this is like, yeah, six. Rosa, yeah, Revival let's say six Who is now. Caleb playing first? I have no idea. She looks like a Zelda. <laughs> um, uh, not sure. Not maybe sure. Maybe it's Ollie or Grim or something? I think it's Grim. Oh yeah, true actually. Let's see what happens. I think Caleb will not win. Cold oh. plan. Not really. I do love to see upsets in this game. Don't we all? And in any game, really. And to cheer on my three favorite Smash Ultimate players. <laughs> You're almost top three. Let me check the bracket real quick. So I went 0-2 in ultimate. It was a good time. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, I'll we'll go next time. time. Yeah. I'll, I'll go home and rub some stuff out. It is grim. It there were like obvious improvements you could have made, so you just have to work on that. Yeah. You're right. As long as you stay positive. We're all on a journey, you know? These are just little stepping stones in the, in the bridge of the journey. Feel part of my metaphor. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good now. Um, We're all gonna make it across the river, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, he's playing double. Sorry, we just missed Apparently, Grim is playing doubles with Shaky. Oh, yeah, sorry, Shaky's here. The Shackster. Grim the had Shack some, attack. Grim had some very uh, intense TV jumps when we were playing earlier. Oh, shit. It was like, this feels wrong. This feels Look, wrong? I missed the ledge. I was like, yeah, he did. This he feels like, wrong. He was, he was like, yeah, there's obviously lag because they missed the ledge. I was like, oh, I didn't notice it. And he was like, yeah, it, there definitely is, man. <laughs> there definitely is. Uh, I was like, ah, oh, all right, maybe. There's, nah, there's... There needs to be, uh, there can't be anything else going on. Exactly. All right. Pump that up, pump that up. That, ga that game music needs to get turned down. Yo, Caleb. Caleb. Caleb! Caleb! Can you go turn the music down? Thanks. Yeah, like halfway down? Yeah. No contest! Sorry? Just anything. Yeah, okay. Musket and Cat. Are they playing each other? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, someone First round. Who seeded this? this? Who exactly. seeded this? Unbelievable. Actually, Actually these characters travel all the way from Musket's house. <laughs> you know, these players travel all the way from Musket's house only to play each other. Amazing. Honestly, if this was seeded in more than five minutes, we wouldn't have these problems. I mean... But I was witness to it being seeded in about five minutes. <laughs> Okay, Fox. We got Fox vs. Peach. I think Ka Catherine this is probably the least likely person for Catherine to ever beat. Yeah, I suppose so. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Although, Peach Fox, anything can happen, you know? I'll play my mic. Put Ruben on the mic. What is up, Ruben? Thanks. Oh. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of, kind of annoyed about Mason, but look, that happens. He's getting his money's worth, you know. He's entering every tournament. Yeah. So who do you think is the favorite to win this one? Don't know. We'll have to see. 
I don't want to make judgments based on the, you know, yeah. what they look like or whatever. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Who do you reckon looks like the bigger gamer out of Musk and Catherine? Let's get a close up happening. Oh, the gamer faces. Um, I think it's like that, and then swap everything around. Oh, if it was long haired Muscat, like. I think this would be a like different story. But, like. The, I don't know. Probably. Oh, oh, he's drinking the monster. He's definitely the bit bigger I gamer. I think Kat doesn't look like a gamer. She looks like a boxer. She looks like a. A boxer? She's in, like, a, a female boxing movie, you know, where they, like, rise out of the slums and make it finally. Oh, they're sharing the monster. That's nice. Yeah, yeah um. I didn't quite get that by looking at her, but now I can I see it. Or she's you, you, like, or she's like from like the West Side Story. She's like that era. Of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of like Hispanic woman. She like, she's really tough and she's into games, but she also does laundry. Yeah. Doesn't take any shit. Exactly. She's a no nonsense type. Beats the kids. Get from this. You go, well, you know, <laughs> tough love is what they call it. Tough love. Tough love. <laughs> Whereas Musket doesn't look like he would fit in in a game. Yeah, definitely not. No, not a gangster. Not everyone's a gangster, it's the thing I've learned That's about. And it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine, exactly. Oh, Gimp? <laughs> no, nice shorty. Can you explain to me the melody meme? You know that song? Shorty's like a melody in my head. Okay. Yeah, it's... A popular 2000s song. Yeah, that's it. I'm surprised Sora, because Sora's not of that generation, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he would have been like nine. Do, do you know that song? Oh my god, what a reflect. <laughs> do you know that song back in the day on my old home computer was played 400 times by my sister? It was, that, it was when you uh, categorized it <laughs> by <insane>. categorized <laughs> it by like the most amount of plays in our, our family iTunes. It was number one. Damn, what's it called again? I can't even remember what it's called. That's insane, actually. But if Catherine beats Musket, I'm gonna cry tears of pure joy. Same. And she looks comfortable, you know. This is just like she's playing friendos at home. Oh, that's it. Oh, just grab the ledge, bro. I can't believe that bear just lost. He sucks. Yeah, he didn't even trade. Yeah. Uh, I hope Grim and Caleb don't play off stream. You think that'll be a good set? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, man. I think Grim's gonna win. Yeah. Or he's gonna lose and blame some external factor. Okay. Oh, it will. Can you make sure Grim and Caleb don't play off stream? Cheers. I don't want to play Kay today. All he has to do to beat me is just only side B directly at me. And I won't be able to beat it. That's a tip for Kai if you're listening later. <laughs> Where is listening mid-match? Yeah, it's yeah. Michael. I like a shaky it. start. Yeah. Musket is really showing Catherine who the real, uh, the man of the house is. <laughs> uh, that. I feel like, I don't know, what's a better way of putting that? That isn't like The gender. older sibling, you know, like, first born. Yeah, what's, what's a way of saying like the boss of the household that isn't like about gender? You know what I mean? Because all of them are about gender. And I don't want it, it's 2018, you know? Yeah. Huh. Anyone in chat? Yeah. Why is this game going for so long? Because Musk is playing with his food. It's your sister. Yeah, it's not weird. food. That's gross. Not food. Not food. Your sister is not food, Musk. Just eat it. Fish your friends. <laughs> exactly. Fish our friends. I feel like. He's about to feed two birds with one scone or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. These guys haven't played in a tournament in ages though. I've never seen it. This might be the first time I've ever seen it. I think it's Yeah, like the, these guys actually don't play in a tournament at all. Yeah. Because they're scared. And Muscle always seats around it. Because if there's anyone that has the read on Musket, it's <laughs> Catherine. I was gonna say me, but then. 
<laughs> Probably got it. Up to it. Up to it. Sniz. Oh, he's nearing. Get that CC going, Cat. Cat can get so much money off of just doing low percent back airs and then down smashing. And she's like, oh well, if they crash cancel it, maybe they'll crash cancel the down smash too. And if they don't, maybe they'll just get hit. He must get, he's got a trick or two up his sleeve. Do you know who's good? Duck. That man Skeletor. is clean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a very quick player. He's so good off of Shine. Yeah, yeah. He's got really good reactions. Like, uh, I'm so used to just like getting Shined and sometimes getting out. Yeah, like sometimes they don't go for the wave dash after the Shine, yeah. but he always he always reacts to the hit. <laughs> nice. Insane, man. Insane. And good edge guard. I was about to say earlier that I think Catherine's edge guards are just as Terrible. bad as mu Muscats, dude. They're as bad as Muscats used to be. Yeah, yeah, that, when yeah that's what I mean. It runs in the family. It's just what they prioritize. They prioritize big brain neutral wins. Yeah, very big brain. They both play highly big brain neutral. Especially both of them. That is true. <laughs> Oh, that was a small brain edge guard once again. Small brain. Tiny brain. You think, you know, Catherine's 17. At what age does your brain fully develop? I think it's like 21, dude. So Catherine actually does have a small brain. <laughs> <laughs> Got that no wrinkle brain. <laughs> exactly. Her brain's still young and smooth. <laughs> I mean, with wrinkles? I don't know. It's smooth. Smooth is a bad one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so if it's <laughs> yeah, because it's less surface area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think Drills is gonna. Ah, uh, please crash cancel, Catherine. But then he drills. The mix up. Yeah. She just like doesn't react to the crouch hit, so you know. Yeah. You gotta just like, like that soft back air, you can very crash yeah. cancel a little. Oh, dash attack! Come on. Exactly. That could have been cool. In another universe, Catherine has a cool combo there. I feel like Catherine only has Falcon did cool combos. Yeah. That's the and one only against that was Mark. Cool. That was sick, dude. <laughs> Actually, in like, Oh, how did she miss that crab? That's lame. Musket's cheesing. Okay. Alright. I'm glad she didn't pull for that. Okay, there you go. Alright, these two are up. Like the respectful fist bump. <laughs> yeah, that was cheesy for musket. I've been hearing Mason chuck it around the word. I can't even remember it. Contort. Oh, uh, he's, he's a, yeah, he's about yeah. it. Yeah. Alpha. If there's one thing Mason's about, it's his vocabulary. He's a, he's a thesaurus man. <laughs> Alright, we got Grim Tuesday. We use full names here, so it's Grim Tuesday. Yes. Does he have a Twitter? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Sheik. Oh, he so plays like Sheik. <laughs> Caleb, does he have a Twitter? No. Come on, J Caleb, get a Twitter and follow me, all right? Um, zero, zero. Start. Do the cameras. Just click, the ca click it. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that. And click the portrait. You do it because you need to learn. Oh, that one, that one. And then use the arrow keys. Don't, uh, don't drag it. Is that fine? Yeah, yeah, that's as far as it goes, I think, actually. Oh, uh, damn, Daniel. I think you have to drag it back in. You've got magnets for it, right? Okay, that's fine, uh, though. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Grim's got a, a lean on him, though. He's, yeah. he's leaning to the, the left. Is that, is that a gangster thing? You know, when you have, like, the, the left-hand side with, like, a flag in it, and you're just leaning to the left because you're a creep or a blood two, if it goes one? Two, I think that's... Two, two. Yeah, that be yeah. One. I mean, yeah. I, I'm just going to assume you're right. Yeah. 
Grim Tuesday. And you haven't put in Captain Falcon there yet. I said Falcon. Oh, Captain. Yeah. Caleb. Oh, Caleb got the first knock somehow. I missed it. The swag stuff. Yeah, what happened there? Uh, probably an SD by how quick it went, but... I don't know. They... Caleb has been known to do some swaggy zero deaths. Is he? Swaggy ones? Yeah. Up air, knee, the whole shebang. Oh, damn. I don't know. You haven't seen it, but uh, I've seen it. I've yeah. around the block of playing Caleb. I've played Caleb for like six hour sessions at a time. Oh, fuck. Wow. I'll tell you, there's been one or two up air knees in that time. Oh, well, that's good to know. Six hours, though, that's long. Well, Milo is usually there. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I like I like playing Caleb and Milo a lot. They like the Damn. the yin and the yang of melee, you know? Milo's got a lot of yin and Caleb's got a lot of yang. That's so true. So they're very opposite. But they both each have a bit of yin and a bit of yang, you know? Okay. That's the thing about yin and yang. <laughs> Yeah, Mason looks very different. Yes. He looks like a guy who plays guitar at like during lunchtime in high school. Neat. And like, oh, that's such a bad edge. He God. likes Led Zeppelin, I think. That's that's what I'm getting from this hairstyle. It's sick. Yeah, it's oh, good. I'm a fan. He looks cooler in the camera, I think. He looks dope regardless. He looks yeah, like, no, he does. What animal does he look like? It's like an alpaca or a llama or something, I think. I wouldn't go that far. I'm, I'm not trying to call someone an alpaca. Everyone, everyone has an animal that they look like. Caleb's like a little bird. Dude, the guy at Hungry Jack's, that muskrat knows, is definitely an alpaca. <laughs> a muskrat's friend? Yeah, muskrat's yeah, yeah. friend, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he's definitely. <laughs> muskrat keeps weird company, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Oh, he's getting up it? Oh my. Let's go. That was actually really good. So, where are you going? Oh my. Oh, oh my. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that smirk. Look at the smirk. Caleb's doing it, man. That was actually really good. <laughs> oh, okay. No punch. Just dash attack. This is a hard matchup, too. Yeah. But, uh, Grim's got a lot of characters, so if it feels like the uh, the Sheik's are cutting it, cutting the mustard, is that the right thing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, greedy. He just messed up. But I think he went for like a crazy like bear read or oh, right. stuff. I'm not sure. Either way. Okay, let's go. Okay. That's how quickly things can happen in melee when you make a error in judgment or execution. Yes, that's what I like. To Caleb doesn't look happy he, about it. He looks. He's done. He doesn't look thrilled. I'll tell you that much. He about to get what? Dude, I love Mason's decent so much, man. Man, he's a swag man. I fucking. That's so sick! He just goes for them all the time as well. Oh no, oh. Nana's gone! Kai's right, I accidentally... Oh no, he... Oh, okay, this might be over. Like, mentally. Yeah, I think the mental game is definitely... It's been a hard hard part of the game for Grim at certain times in the past. But again, certain times in the past he's been pretty clutch, so... We'll see how it's going today. Exactly. Oh no, just walk back. to remember the love, you know, that brought him to melee in the first place. It's easy to remember the fear. The love is, uh... Down smash. It's in there. He's doing okay with the sun here. Yeah, clean. I feel like he's definitely one to do better with a low C character, I <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I feel like he kind of pressures himself a lot of the time. He's like, got the... Oh! Yeah, that I was, you swag. It was swag. Yeah, that was <laughs> He needs a grab. He's getting stuck. I feel like if he gets a grab, if he gets the opportunity to wobble, I reckon he'll go. Caleb's through. actually playing so good, by the way. He must have had a level up from uh, the big cheese. You know what How'd I mean? How'd he go? Oh, he lost a blog. But he played so many friendos. Did he? I've never seen a man play as many friendos as Caleb. I've never seen Caleb not play a friendo. I played like 10 friendos, dude. The big cheese. I played a lot with uh, Sora and Miles. And uh, Caleb efficiently warmed you up. Killing the... Yeah, I did. Well, it warmed me up for specifically playing against Dan. Oh, he's done. Alright, we got a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dang swag, that's read. swag. What that is swag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
do <laughs> they kill yourself so you can wall <laughs> as soon as you get they just walk up and do it as well forward smash oh, oh no I wish he no. did the wobble to the correct percent but he probably doesn't know it anymore he's done yeah you hate to see that kind of thing happen so I don't think Musk is I mean Mason's happy about his execution that set that's me. Yeah, I'll have my money back. <laughs> yeah. Because you lost. I don't want to play on the fucking stream this stuff, dude. No? No. <laughs> Sorry, mate. If you, if you told me you didn't want to, I, I would have happily let you play off stream. Oh. You know, I mean, after a set like that, you're not always in the highest of spirits. Uh, yes, please. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I think Mason oh, always well. had a good time in the Ultimate Tournament. I don't think Melee's his main game right now. And, uh... Yeah, look. Honestly... Let's not put a damper on Caleb, because he played quite well. Yes, he did. He played clean. That upsets me. What? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. a man with a lot of uh, pride. He is. And don't we all? The thing is, Grim touched the the, the highest highs of South Australia. So he obviously wants to put in a good showing. Understandable. Bit of salt. We all have those kind of <laughs> oh, moments. Shit. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> if only Donut was here. I feel like this wouldn't happen if Donut was here. Yeah. I don't know the great, um, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a pacifying influence on the scene. What is Brad's? Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely a much needed neutral ground. Yeah, exactly. Everyone can go to Donut with their problems, I think. What is Scraddles' Twitter? Uh, the Scrad Daddy. The Scrad? I think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it Scrad up. Scrad Daddy? Please explain. <laughs> Scrad Daddy, dude. <laughs> that can't be it. Scratch, Scratch is laughing way too much. <laughs> What's Kai's Twitter? KP Kaiser? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find it. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> the Scrad Daddy? Is that it? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look it up. I think, well, regardless, whoever has that Twitter handle is getting a follow from me. <laughs> So we got Bradley, we got Kai, we got Melee, we got the Goku versus Vegeta of Melee in many ways. You know what we're talking about. So Kai the favorite to win this, obviously. Yeah. But uh, Scrabble's has taken him pretty close in the past. There it is. Did you get it right? Did you put it in? Uh, yeah, you got it right. Good. Is that it? There's like a... The Scrad Daddy with another D. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a... Uh, I want to say terrible Twitter handle. Well, it looks better because it's capitalized. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's just a bit confusing looking at that. It looks like the Scraddy Addy or something, you know? Like... I like it. Like it's the Addy yeah, yeah, Daddy. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna capitalize it. Right. I know it looks better. You're doing your best for your fellow dice mate. He's got a good Twitter handle, god damn it. <laughs> Who lost the dice game to have that Twitter handle? That's what I'm trying to ask. No, it's you should funny. put a team crew in. Does Kai have a team slash crew? No, he, he doesn't like being affiliated with AC10 anymore. He's a lone wolf. Oh, he doesn't oh. like AC10? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know why. No we all have, we all grow out anime sometime. Me, earlier than others. 
<laughs> when did you grow out of anime? Probably a while ago now. <laughs> when you were seven? Yeah, roughly. But I, <laughs> Pokemon was a good time for me. I, I never really got into Dragon Ball Z, but... Oh, they're into it. Damn. Oof. Oh, a really Fucking high down smash. Awesome first stuck by Kai. Uh, Savage. Uh, what were you saying? I said awesome first stock by Kai. Yeah, but you started saying something else and I really interrupted you. I was just making mouth noises, finish, dude. Finish now, dude. All right. <laughs> um, we weak back at it down air, and he gets the landing of the hit straddles like right as he missed attack and got to pop up, but I don't think he was expecting it. Insane up there. Don't know whether it was on purpose, but uh, reached the floor up with it. Okay, Reed. But it didn't work. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna dare him? Yes. Man. Everyone, we have, we've had a lot of uh, yeah. unfortunate SDs today. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. Yeah. And you truly hate to see that kind of thing happen. Especially the legends of the scene that have been around as long as, for instance, the Straddles. Yes. Oh, no crash cancel. Well, he crash canceled it, but he just jumped. Yep. Yeah, Kai, uh, Flurats is... He's not moving. He's stoic. <laughs> what a word. Yeah. Oh, uh, Brad already doing better. Yep. Big fan. Don't get... Was like, please don't get re-grabbed. Straddles nice. wasn't feeling too good in this matchup against me earlier, so I I, 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 I don't know how warmed up he is it like over time. You know, I feel like when you don't play Thumpers that often, it's so much harder. Yeah, like, like just all moving the in between it, yeah, yeah, in between lasers. And reacting to side B, it's impossible. Impossible. It's so quick. It is actually so quick. Weird, not down air. <laughs> oh, with the forward air. Dude, how many legs? You can't shoot all of them. One's bound to poke. Exactly. Nobody can shield that long. Nice. Oh, kick. I like the little pause. That is, Flores is actually perfectly still. He's just taking it all in. <laughs> oh, no. no. Alright. Okay. He, got he probably had. Did he pause? That's yeah, he stuck, man. He, that was his stock, dude. He ran over the edge and, <laughs> and killed himself, and Kai grabbed the ledge. He took the rat. Classic. Kai does take this, tell you that much. And uh, pretty Brad could have up the edge, but he chose not, not to. I think he was mentally out of the game at that point. Yeah. Kai kind of playing a bit too strong. Yeah, I guess I'm versing Oliver. <sighs> Alright, good luck, my friend. So Kai takes that two over Scraddles in very convincing fashion. And we've got Neruvia vs. Oli coming up on stream. I'll just wait until... Oh, very good. Oli. What's Oli's Twitter? Uh oh. Yep. She red. Nangs. Dice Nangs. Samus. Alright. We are in business, folks. Shout out to everyone in the chat. I have to play Caleb? Goodbye.
<laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Kaiza back on the microphone yet again. Um, and yeah, we got Ali versus uh, Nangs up on the stream right now. And now we all know how much uh, we all know how much she kind of flops that Samus in this matchup. However, I think Nangs is uh, quite skilled, so he's got a, he's he'll look, he'll be looking very strong in this game, and I think he's actually the the more favor to win than Ollie, but it can e easily go either way. Easily go either way. So apparently I don't have a chic red icon. Let me fix it. Let me fix that one. Um, I want to go file location. Alright. I'm putting in over time, you know it. Yeah, it's just because um, kind of all my like stream stuff is kind of all over the place, so sometimes things aren't always there. But voila, we're fixed. We got a red icon. All right. Um, so we saw Ali take the first stock, uh, but now Nangs is starting to pull ahead and. On Dreamland, I think this is going to favor Samus a bit, uh, just because it's going to be a bit longer before Ollie's going to clean up any kills with a fair. So, obviously Nang's going to be watching out for the dash attack to get things started from uh, Ollie, but, you know, we'll see what happens. You also got to watch out for, um, also shout out to Midori for the resub as well earlier. Don't, don't think I didn't forget you. I'm going to turn this into followers mode. All right, though. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon once... If I got tournaments on, I'm going to turn followers on. Follow red on. Um, and then if we don't have a tournament, it'll, it'll just be fine. But anyway... How's the audio, by the way? Please let me know if I need to turn the game or the microphones up or down. And then we'll go from there. But anyway... Um, yeah, like I said, Nangs, you know, putting in the work. Also pulling ahead in this game. Also, with regards to earlier, um, Grim Tuesday asked me to not upload the match between him and Caleb to YouTube. So I'll respect that decision. However, I will there will be an unlisted video. And the first one goes to Nangs. Good stuff. Um, and yeah, he said it wasn't to do with the result of the match or anything. He's just like, ah, I didn't really want to play on stream, so I won't I won't force him to appear on the YouTube. Cool, audio's all good. Excellent to hear. Ready? I'm going into game two. We're going to FD for the second match. Uh, I think we're getting a nooch. A noochy? A noochy start? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. Um, I think this will work out really good for Oli because Nang's got a big commitment if he wants to up the out of stuff. So watch out for that. Watch out for Ollie trying to bait stuff out. Because he's going to want to try and bait out shield grabs and bait out the dash attack and uh, up B mostly. And Nangs is going to have to like crouch cancel or fail or something. Crouch cancel a fair or a nair and uh, go from there. Why followers only mode? Um, if you're watching a tournament, I like the support. Um, just my personal opinion, I like... Actually, it's a local, so what am I doing? I don't know. I think for tournaments, I'll, I'll keep it for followers. But if it's not a tournament going, then if it's just like a normal stream, I'll just uh, leave it as usual. And also, kind of just weeds out like troll accounts a little bit. And if you wanna, if you wanna chat, just smash the follow. Cause like I don't care if you unfollow directly after. I just appreciate like the support. Ooh, catching Nangs trying to fare back to stage with his own fare, and the needles kind of come out from Ollie to secure it. That was a really nice start, honestly. Oh no, Phantom. So Ollie actually phantoms Nangs there uh, when Nangs went for the up tilt. So and Nangs basically won out with that up tilt. 
Oh, no. Ollie having a hard time trying to find his way in uh, amongst all these projectiles. He's not going to go for a tech there, just going to go for the survival DI. Rinse and repeat. Oh, misses the punish though. Nangs is going to have to pick this one up soon, otherwise it's going to get out of his hands. I know Ollie can rack up the percent pretty quickly if he's... Oh, there's the shield grab on the Nair. Uh, and biting off a bit more than he can chew after that forward air. Sam's a bit too heavy to continue the combo and kind of lost the stock for it. I'm liking what Ollie's doing right now, even though he did lose his stock just then, but he needed this more on the last stock, but I guess he needed just to get Nangs out of crouch cancel percent. Because now he's looking a bit stronger. Oh! He had no jump! He used his jump and he got clipped by the up B, so now Ollie's got quite the hurdle ahead of him right now. I like the jabs on the shield, trying to bait out at least like an up B or something, but he doesn't get anything. And now all the damage is just racking up for Ollie. It's just like make, uh, sending him further and further away from his, like, bringing a comeback. Um, however, it's not out, he's not out of it, but just with how like crouch cancelling is going to work out for Ollie, I think. I think uh, Nang's got this pretty sealed. Nang's so Ollie about was. To do it. Yeah, huh? He's about to do it. Yeah, he's literally about to do it. That's it. Like, GG's. Got nice. hit for the best bit. You did. You really did. The pop off. Pop off. Yeah. Um. Well, I, th I think I might even be you and me next. Shit. You sit down for the comms and then you hop off. I'm all over the place today. Yeah. All right. I'm yeah. So. Down, I don't know where right. I am. Two zero to you versus Kayla. Yes. Sweet. That's already put in. So yeah. I guess me and you now. All right. Let's go, Mario. Let's a go. All right. BLB stream. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, please. Alright, let's straight into it. Let's go. And yeah, they got the grab and got a zero to death straight off that. That was nice. Oh, interesting pressure, but is he dead? No. Nick a bit too eager on the F smash, but high of the nice chance. So. It's actually very common. And jumping off the ledge with the forward air. This is actually very common, so goodbye Kai, but I'd like to see more masks cover that. He could have got a double, but I think he would have died. Oh, maybe it was worth it. If he did it. I think in the long run, you don't want to be making those decisions. Oh my god, double power shield! Jesus. That's sick. 
All right, Nick opens him up. He doesn't punish the platform. He's gone for like a shorter read, maybe, with that dash attack. But you know, he still takes it. Might get the force there. Oh, that was a cool guy, I think. But you're still not that cool because you're still two stocks down. Really clean for it. Shake drop. Just catches him, wave dash him down after those shots. It's actually like a great opportunity to punish spaces when they do that wave dash down shun, but that's it. Pretty convincing. And this is a best of three, so. Pardon? Oh, we're doing our uh, best of five? Okay. Okay, this is fun. Okay, so Dreamland. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, really, really clutch air dodge. That could have been a dunk, but now he gives him a good chance. And terrible, terrible jabs. I guess maybe if he was early that would have been fine, but he, he, was, he was not early. Oh, we got Musket joining us. Put it, put it on, please. Oh, yeah, cams need to be small. Oh, right, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, it's all going to hell. Yeah, it is. Um. F1. Wait, don't worry. In game. Huh? Hey, yeah, okay, you can do it that way, yeah. It's fun. What the hell? It's fun for it. No, it's not. F1. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Oh. We, we, we solved that tragedy. We got it, we got it. I think Kai saw the fucking screen and he's just like. He's like, oh, what the hell? Oh, no, it's all. My it's screen, all, it's all going to hell, man. <laughs> he's worked years to show a consistent yeah. quality, and these novices are just. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, Kai. Mm. It's okay, you're making up for it now by just, you know, fine tuning the camera. Yeah. That's for sure. We need Nick's face in center. Yeah, dude. He, like, if only there was a zoom function. A zoom function? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kai's actually got a lead after getting destroyed that last game. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, I was talking about a lead, but... Then, you know, you, it was marked. You got marked. You got marked. <laughs> you got marked. Oh. Okay, good. Good to grab slides, just, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Right. I love when Falco is just like, at low percent, they start fishing for that crouch cancel shine. It's just like, crouch right in front of you, yeah. like, preemptively, and it's like, sometimes it works. And yeah, this is best of five. Top six is best of five. Ooh. Am I correct? Probably. I'd imagine. Like, yeah. So I guess it's all on stream from here, except for Caleb and Ash. Uh, Catherine and Ollie are also playing on stream. Uh, so, that's one to write. This is one. Okay. Last crash. Oh, that was. That laser was sick, but then he like got stuck. I like, started a bit in the movement. Then. That was a kind of cool uh, sequence, but like the problem is that back air just gives him like so he's got so much stage to go to after that back air. Um, um, you really want to get them off stage. Yeah. That's, um, it's hard with the tech ins. All right. Nick up again. Uh, two up. Yeah, surely go back. Yeah, it's it's the best stage by far. Yeah. That said, Nick's not that bad at like, the stage. He's got pretty good movement. And yeah. Yeah, his movement's sick. Yeah. And I don't think he's like super good on your shoes, but no, I mean, like know. he's still he's still probably. I mean, the stage is probably better. Okay, well, this is pretty much over. Or not. 
I don't know. I, he, was, he was thinking about the Moth Kill, then he was like, well, I can just grab Ledge. Because but he didn't time it right. And He's up to it, man. Mm, nice. There's a certain point when you get up to it as a spacey, and like if, you, if you're near the ledge, it just feels so bad. Because if you die uh, one way, you just get sent straight up, and you get up to it again. If you die the other way, you just get um, dead. dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like... <laughs> You don't have a good DI train there. Like no. Tree, I mean. Yeah, you, you, you just kind of have to cop it um, three or four and then... Yeah, I do hear like commentators every now and again getting... They get hit by like the up to up to up to with like the same DI three times in a row. Yeah, he's like, what's, what's this guy and doing? He, yeah, and he's like, bad DI. Yeah. It's like, no, he's just trying to not get dumped. <laughs> yeah, he, doesn't like... wanna, he doesn't want to die at 40, but... <laughs> like... That was a cool skill set there, though. Hmm. Swag. Yeah, that's that... would say. Oh man. Oh, I really good catch with the laser. Oh, really good late dare? Oh, you needed a dare. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> See, Kai's ledge catches are like decent enough. That was like the worst one I've seen today. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the point is, like, he has confidence to actually retreat to ledge and then ledge dash to yeah. when he's in the corner. Um, yeah. A lot of Falcos, a lot of Falcos do it and they just double laser afterwards, and it's like. Down to it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Time is not that bad. You got an up throw combo. Um, okay, still well, it still works, yeah, you know. And does he have a jump? Find out. No, it is not. Alright, well, this is, um. The thing is, this is looking pretty bad for Nick, but it is Mar Falco. He's won one decent grab and a follow up away from closing out his stock. Yeah. Just get stuck in his um, go through on a side pipe, so. Not the hit he was looking for. That is, that is the hit he was looking for. Oh, he's got the bead. Oh, bead yeah. to his head. I like it. He does like a really <laughs> creepy smile. Well. Yeah, yeah. Is that part of it? I don't know, man. I I, I was watching us set a big cheese, and he did it every time he lost the stuff. Okay. It's like this weird smile, but they didn't show any teeth. Did it? Hmm. We'll, um, we'll see. Keep, yeah, keep an eye out for it. Honestly, real talk, the beat might be like he might be thinking of a you know family or friend or like some sort of um, close friend. That, yeah. Has anyone asked him? I don't think so. Yeah. Just, you know, right after the set, we'll be like, Kai, what's up with the creepy smile? Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, man, he's like, man, that's just how I smell. See? See? Yeah, yeah. And then he's just like... Sometimes you need, you, need, you need to um, do what you can just to clear your head. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. saying it's shit, but yeah. I'm just saying it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. interesting, yeah. We all have our little, you know, sort of... Um, idiosyncrasy, or um, I guess like our own little quirks that we do in between stocks. You'll see, like... I remember Dekar, like, a while back, he would just like touch his, like... Nose every time he like lost a stop. Oh, that's weird. Like that's not cool. not the inside, like just like you know like that's yeah, all. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you got fucking digging for gold. <laughs> and like you're like man, got him. God, yeah, you know if I lose, well you know yeah, he's I'm rich, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. If you did that. Wait, Nick won. Yeah, Nick lost. Then it shouldn't be um one for Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 FD, tough stage though, but Kai gets the first stop. Kai did surprisingly well on this stage. Oh. Damn, dude. Ooh, look of the intense faces right now. Ooh. Oh, oh he had him. he's gone. Yeah, this is probably it. Yeah. He did such a good job as well, keeping him trapped in the corner. Yeah, then it's just... like that small mistake. Yeah, it's... It's hard. He's invincible, man. <laughs> Don't fear him. Yeah. Oh? He's got a jump. Yeah, this is... Refresh, bro. Okay. He's mad he, he, he makes it work. The get up and the ASDI down? Yeah, smart. Oh... Okay, he's, he's out, but he's oh. got grab. This is... Probably gonna be 40, 50 at worst. Oh okay. no, he gets the wrong hit. Done. Oh yeah. I thought he'd go for like a jump or a See, I think, like at that percent, if you up throw and Falco or Fox DI is off stage, you can react to it and just do, do it down air. Yeah, yeah, exactly. like, Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't need to do it up air. Like, that's something that I think they should definitely do more. He goes for a weird aerial. 
He like goes for an aerial into F smash, and he doesn't always tipper it. So. Mm. Oh, oh that, that's good. For that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, that first power shot of lasers always so demoralizing for like. Even though, I mean, if you think the Mark can consistently power shield, then yeah, you should start respecting. And I mean, he's doing it now, so. But a lot of times you see, like, uh, Marf or whatever, another character say power shield or laser, and the Falcon will not use the gun at all for like 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, so, like, yeah. no, it's not gonna work. Oh, that's, that's it. Two, three or one. Yeah. Are we playing good? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Donuts, right? As always. The classic Schmaltzmith banter. What's up? All right. Other winners, semis. We've oh, got. Shit. We got Musket and uh, Nangs. Big. The classic. We got Peach Samus. Obviously. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, every every single time uh, yeah. Musket and Nangs plug into the setup, I'm yeah. like, here we go. Fox versus time Samus. Time for a good set. <laughs> time for a good set. Fox versus Samus, baby. Let's do it. And then it's this <laughs> instead. And which is like fair enough. Like you know, Musket probably his play. Musk has probably played Peach a lot longer than he has Fox. So in this matchup, which is very heavily in Peach's favor, it makes sense. Yep. Um, Musket has uh, always historically won this one. Yeah, I, I can't think of many, if any, um, times where Nangs did it yeah, to I Musket's Peach. I, I uh, definitely don't recall any. I wonder what the final outcome was from the Grim Tuesday no. tournament entry. Oh, uh, he got it. He got refunded. Something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he got refunded, but we'll see. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Straight we'll up. Ben Grim Tuesday for tournaments. Literally, ban him. That's so dumb. Imagine being so salty that you ask for your money back. <laughs> I mean, I always want to keep up a facade of being, you know, program Tuesday. Sometimes some dumb shit happens. And I just, uh, the cracks. Alright. So yeah, this is another best of five. We're in winner semis. Um, so, best of five for like top six, I think. That's how it works. Um, because yeah. yeah, the winner semis drop down into losers quarters, you're not gonna Go play a best of three. I could see Nero if you do well. Or Nangs. Yeah, so I think he's been getting a lot better. Actually. I feel like he's most improved from. Uh, I feel like he's the kind of player that when a major happens, he plays a lot of players and he like. Yeah. A lot. Whereas yeah, Musket, yeah. he's kind of still doing his Musket things. I mean, it's not like he's playing Peach against most of the like the Interstaters. That's true as well. Yeah, his Peach is also on like a downward trend. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. Like, it's just for this matchup at this point, pretty much. Uh, I don't think I, like, I recall, like, a single time in recent memory, so, like, sometime this year. Did he play against Kalen at the Big Cheese? Um, I think he did. For Fox did, I probably, I mean, yeah, I think he did. it's quite likely. I mean, against Kalen, who has, like, a world of Fox oh, training, um, it makes sense. And, like, easier to get uh, people on top of the Peach than it is Fox, I think. Yep. For a lot of reasons. Oh, nice. I like that. But it's not going to kill yet. You get to pull out our phones as Nanks makes it back to the stage. Oh my god. I actually hate playing Samus. 
It's, he just it's, takes so long to get back. It's yeah. Just like, oh, I got a hit. Oh, well, he's at 190 instead of 180. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and didn't taking at the all. kill at 200, finally, we're doing it. Um, yeah, like, the big thing for me with Samus is, like, you have to know, like, the moment to actually do your thing. Because usually, like, every other matchup, you kind of, like, go through the motions in a very, like, logical, like, this comes after this, this comes after that. Uh, whereas Samus, you hit him off stage and you're just like, now what do I do? Yeah. You're just there waiting for it to get closer so you can grab the ledge or something. Um, and then it's like, well, if I mess up this one moment, then I gotta do it all again. Or you die. Yeah, or you die, right? <laughs> you mess up, you mess up trying to edge guard her and then you just cop a fat charge shot. Well, I would done. like to see the numbers on how many stops top Samus has take from like cheesing people out of being edge guarded. I think it would probably be quite like, a lot. Like, Sam like, it, if we're gonna make a criteria, we'll make it like Samus recovering, stocks taken. Yeah. There would be a that would be a good Tafo stat to know, like, like, like duck and flop and. Uh, honestly, it has so little to do with what people perceive to be like the key skills of melee. But what? It, like, it just like recovering and cheesing people on your way. Oh, good power show. But like, nice. It's it's so important, you know. Yeah. Well, like, I feel like I noticed that. Uh, at, the further and further you go up, like the skill tree is like how quickly a stock turns at the ledge, and like the the good players they'll get like one hit while you're coming back to stage. Oh, sorry, while you're trying to get edge guard going, and then suddenly your stock's gone. Oh, yeah. For Nanksa. One thing I've realized is melee more than being about the neutral game and like big brains is about the little situations and the little cheesy things you can do. Yeah, I mean. It's about crash cancel, it's about SDI. <laughs> there, about, there's one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Melee is one of those games where, like, in tournament, it's not so much about the conversation you have, but more about, like, how many times you can go, um, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> SDI, you get, like, crouch cancel, you get, like, reversing situations on an edge guard. Objection. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's like that in tournament. But like yeah. friendlies are like where the actual conversations happen. I feel like people are a lot less inclined. Well, not inclined, but like um, the cheese kind of comes out a lot less in friendlies because people are trying to go for more like yeah. uh, stuff that they practice, I guess. Like I want to get better at like this matchup, so I'm going to like think about the neutral game a bit more. Yeah. Whereas in tournament, just just take them. It's so just hard to get him. to the point where the neutral game even matters. <laughs> yeah, right. I think the neutral game matters when I play Ruben. That's about it. But that's only because I have to <laughs> oh, win so many times. He picks it up. This is gonna be the big comeback from Muscat. Oh, oh I'm not sure if he was actually dead there. Oh, he throws it. Big air dodge from Nang. This is dodge. actually going so well for Ruben right now. Look, he's just off stage. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, Musket I think Musket can't kill him. is like very oh, accustomed cool. to playing in the lead in this matchup, and since he kind of SD'd away that stock when he was in the lead, yeah, he's not quite having the kind of control that he uh, expects against Samus. Yeah, understandable. To be quite honest. Dude, oh, he shot that. <laughs> Boom! Oh, that's it. Absolutely boom. First game to Nangs. I like this. And this is going to be interesting if Musket's going to pull out the Fox and get a uh, body for another game. Um, or if he's going to ride out the Peach. Okay, FD. God, I was going to your money back in the 13 entry tournament. I'm so tilted. <laughs> I'm like unbelievably tilted. It's just the most dog thing I ever. I don't even. Did like, he play his losers? I don't know. Well, he played his winners, that's for sure. Yeah. That's, I think after you play that first game. Like, I think after you enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if, I'm, like, sure. If you can't make it to the tournament, then, like, by all means, get a refund. But, he also like, up and left, like, immediately afterwards. Yeah, like, pretty shitty, to be honest. Like, we don't need, we don't owe Mason anything. He, like, comes to the scene once every, like, nine months, has a little tantrum, and then asks for his money back. Like, what? Why do we give him his money? I don't get it. Any, uh, Mason, any pro Mason people in the chat want to like argue with me on this? Yeah. Because I think it's stupid. <laughs> Hit up the Twitter after this and be like, let's argue. <laughs> Should people ever be giving their money back? It's going to be 100% no. Yeah, after you, after you lose in winners, should you be able to ask for a reason? Oh, big bomb bomb. Oh, big waste. <laughs> 
No, there's no there's no point that you could possibly <laughs> argue other than okay. Mason is All right. special. The the only the only ground that I think Mason has to stand on is that afterwards he's like, I really didn't want to play on stream. I'm like, well, you could have said that, right? But yeah, I'm he like, was just standing there chilling. You yeah, yeah. But we were like, oh, don't don't get him. We did go to like Will and be like, hey, don't play your game uh, just yet. We want to put it on stream. I think that's what Will went over and did. Um, and then they played on stream and then uh, it was just a quick two over Caleb. So like, I can understand if you want to approach it from any angle, the only angle is, uh, you know, like not consenting to <laughs> to I mean, conditions of a match. I mean, it's not like the conditions of the tournament are that if you get us to play on stream, you do it. <laughs> But you I can't force that on people. I feel like that's such a TPP move. And Musket, I mean, Mason has like no TPP remaining. <laughs> He's used to that. He's actually out of it. He's like mid level player whining. Well, enough about that. Oh, Nang's actually living that's real hard against Musket on a theory. Oh, power shields. You see that, uh. That uh, optimal Falco power shielding um, Samus dash attack punish with the invisible ceiling glitch. Yes, that was dope. It also works on boss apparently. Oh, sick. That's dope. Do you like, do you wave dash out of the power shield or do you just go for the shine? I don't know. Okay, I gotta, I gotta land that anyway. I'll, go, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll highly one. situational thing. Yeah, yeah, but like if I if I'm in the moment, and I hit that power shield. I hit and then I hit one shine, and I see it's ICG. I'm like, oh sweet, time to match. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like not? I think there's like enough of a reaction that you can make it work. But like, God, you have to be in the lab for like six months on that at least. I think like shine up smash is the go. Yeah, but get, I'm Falco. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but they get up smash back down. To the ground, and you can like tech. Oh, like, wait, yeah, yeah, true. Sure. That's yeah, okay. I'm thinking more about the frame advantage of how slow up smash is, but anyway, this is actually going to an even game. Musket's starting to pull ahead, and he's got to finish off his edge guard. Rough, he's not letting him go there. A lot of this game's kind of happened on like, you know, the three quarters of the stage near the ledge. Just because, you know, Samus is gonna be recovering most of the times. So Musket's gonna be standing near it. Yeah. The fun zone. The fun zone. <laughs> That's the cheese factory. Exactly, I like it. <laughs> That's just gonna happen so much. Musket's gonna get that dash attack and just be like, cool, got my th got my 17. Yeah. <laughs> Time to move on. Oh, the spot dodge not working out for her either. This is looking pretty good for Nangs right now if he can clean it up with this charge shot. Oh, I love the roll though. I'm just thinking about this matchup. I feel like Ruben is doing a lot of moves that are like, the margins aren't that high. I don't know if that's just yeah. a Samus thing. I think it's a Samus versus Peach thing. Yeah. It seems like Peach is. Yeah, it just seems like Peach's like moves are just gonna be, like beat out a lot of Samus's like general options that she's gonna use. Also, really weak shield. Yep. Oh, like. Okay, I, I expected an air dodge for some reason, but Musket's like low percent, so it's not gonna happen. I really like that wiggle out there to grab the ledge. Okay, wiggle out to get wiggle out like B move to get the to get the no impact land. That shit's good. Yep. Well, not the no impact, but. You don't have to wiggle out to do a B-move, but you do have to wiggle out to get a tether. Okay, all right. You can mash any move out of his stun. Ooh, that's that. That is that. Musket bringing it to a 1-1 after... After a hard-fought 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, We huge. move on to game 3 in its best of 5. Um, yep, so Ultimate has already happened, Willie May in chat. Uh, in grand finals, it was Russ versus Nikes, and Russ took it from losers. I think it was 3 0 3 0, or from maybe. From losers? Yeah. Who beat him? Uh, I don't know who beat Russ, actually. I don't know where he lost, but Nikes was in grand winners. Right. Good, always good to see Nikes perform well here and there. He's always good in the early season. Yeah, I see that a lot. I think he's got a lot of that, like. He's probably just played his character, I think. Yeah, he's yeah, right. I think, he, I think he's just played Yoshi for long enough that it's, it works out no matter what. But yeah. anyway. 
Like he's won in winners finals against Rust. Okay, cool. Oh no, the dash grab. Oh, almost curtains for for Nangs there. And we're in, we're on Yoshi's as well. So I guess Nangs is gonna be hoping for that charge shot kill in a bit earlier, but I know one D smash from uh, Peach. This percent. Oh, fair. Don't even need. Don't make me out of the corner here. I don't know what Samus does there, to be honest. Maybe like run in a dash attack or something. Yeah. Missile. Even his up tilt's getting beaten. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> he hit the dare and then charged up. He could have gone anything other than up air. So. He could have gone like a... I don't know if you can do an aerial interrupt to the top plat as Samus, but it would have been cool. Maybe he could have got a back air if he was like super... Yeah. So yeah, this... This one is Sammy's musket starting to pull ahead. This Yoshi's not working out so well. No. Oh no! That's not fast enough. Weird just like, down tilt. Just wave dash forward, down smash Ruben. You got it. Just punch him. Hit him with the legs. Just kick him. Huge damage. More legs. Oh! For some reason I always think Nangs hit some soft nair into charge shot at high percent. What's with that? Is that yeah. real? Uh, that wasn't that real. That one though. wasn't real. But I watched the, I've been watching the Big Cheese VODs all the time. Right. And he hits him with the soft nair into charge shot edge guard sometimes once they go to stage. It was against Davox actually, yeah, that was it. That was pretty legit. So you've been making your way through the VODs for uh, personal enjoyment or for splitting them up? Uh, personal enjoyment for now. <laughs> good shit, dude. I like that. <laughs> I just oh okay. <laughs> he got the tether and then landed on. Uh, I wonder if he gets his tether back. Yeah, he does. Whoa, okay. Shy guy almost saved this him. This counter pick quite. not quite working for Nangs. It just it, like all the survivability you had on Dreamland that that he won is just it's not it's not there for this one. Should go to stadium. Yeah, actually. Because that's where your trap shots are going to kill off the side, really. And you get your nice missile yeah. camping. And you don't get stuck in the corner so much. Plus a nice low ceiling for Peach to die to. I like that. Down smash will probably do it. I don't know what it is about Yoshi's, but somehow you just get stuck in the corner real bad. Or at least the Nangs is. See, I don't th the thing is, is like I don't think Yoshi's is actually that bad for Samus because of her upbeat at the top plat. Um, and like the down air just covers so much. You can cover a lot on the platform, but you're not really going to put Peach on the platforms in a tech situation, really. So like, stages might be alright for Samus, but I don't think it's that great against Peach. Yeah, like. in some matchups. It looks like Peach is just dominating the space. Ooh, two stock. Much quicker than the last game, and Mustard's going to go into this game four up again. Shout out to Donut for hanging out with Drunk Musket. Drunk Musket is a treat to be around. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we're going back to Yoshi's. I wanted to be known that I was the first person that noticed Musket was drunk. <laughs> Everyone else was like, really? And I was like, yeah, Musket, how many drinks have you had? And he was like, not that many. <laughs> Classic Musket. Oh, he's dominating this slot. Drunk Musket's in the cage. It's all it's all monster musky right now. Yeah, because drunk musket has a real spring in his step, you know. You know what it was? He, he was probably he was probably monster musket, and then he hopped on the drinks, and so he was unstoppable from that point on. Exactly. He actually was unstoppable as big cheese. Remember when he just straight up didn't know what city we were in? Were you there? I wasn't there for that, but you did tell me about it. Incredible. <laughs> he like committed to it as well. He doubled down. It's like, oh, so when's your play? <laughs> he doubled down on us being in Melbourne. <laughs> I mean, the Astro's a pretty Melbourne place. I mean, like aesthetically. That's godlike donut. That's commitment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> oh no! Nang's falling apart. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Oh. Okay. Still a bit of life left in Nang's. He needs to not eat the trades though. That was a good one for him though. Nang's has such a worse time when I'm here because he gets musket. Oh no. The thing oh, is he's like no. trapped in the cycle. Because he either he, he gets seated fourth and he plays me and he does alright. Okay, real shit. Last year back I don't know why I was seated above Nang's. That was not a good decision. Whoever made that one. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Big shield grab with the Samus tether. I like the shield pressure going on as well. Ah! Spot dodge. 
So clutch for Musket, but he's not gonna get too much in the end. Didn't really matter that much. Didn't you beat Nang's last tournament? No. I thought you did. Nuh-uh. Who'd you beat? Devin. Yeah. Yeah, you beat yeah, yeah, I beat, beat Devin. Uh, Nang's beaten me at Big Cheese and the last EVAC. Classic Nang's dude. Oh. Always winning. Big, big Stitch too. Absolutely. What a stitch up. <laughs> Where are all the cameras, I'm bro? I'm in stitches. <laughs> Where are all the cameras, bro? Is this a stitch up? <laughs> oh. All right. That's, that's that. And then we have... <laughs> we have... Uh, uh, there are cameras. <laughs> it is a stitch up. <laughs> all right. So, winners finals will be um, Nick and Musket now. Um, and I think we're going to get some losers quarters. Quarties? Do you want me to play Musket first? Or do you want to play uh, quarters? I think we got to the quarters first, right? Gotta and then we got quarters, winners. Mate. We got to be quarters. Yeah, we got to do quarters. Absolutely quarters. Um, we'll get... Probably, oof. Wait, why is this bracket taking so long? Are we even up to quarters? Is I'm that where I'm going to yell at Jack real quick. So we got me and Ollie in loser quarters right now. Ooh, Nick's going for it. He's, going, he's out for blood tonight. Oof. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I gotta go to the toilet real bad too. So I might just tell Ollie to like warm up real quick and then I'll be back for my match. Alright, BRB streams. Thank you. 
<laughs> Small indie scene. Because yeah. we care. We care about the individual. We care about Grim Tuesday. We care about Muscat sometimes. Dude, uh, you know, I smash random Smash Four. Well, not random. I mean, like Smash Four people up there were cheering for Ruben at the start. I'm like, where's the love? Wait, wait, where's the love? I'm just yeah. glad you guys don't run like some kind of big business. You know? Yeah, we're not. We're not. I'm glad you don't, you don't run a casino or a. A betting on dogs. <laughs> we, have, we have like two bounces at the door when Mason's asking, and he's like, "They're like, time to go, buddy." <laughs> just, exactly. No. Yeah. Out. No. <laughs> no. You just give it back to him. You're like, "Oh, dude, you know." Those... In his defense, he does look like money's tight. Dude, and, we, uh... dude, we could do that though with like Ash and Michael. They're yeah, you know, they got yeah, have, you know, dress them up in like. Yeah, you've had enough, mate. Yeah, yeah, you've had, had enough, mate. Yeah, yeah. Today. Time to <laughs> time to time to leave, buddy. Dude, those guys. I like that. They're like Ruben's cronies. Ruben's like Malfoy. Yeah, yeah. They're like the... We should really, um... Uh, Crab and Goyle, if you will. Ooh. I know a lot about that. This, this is loose quarters, I think. So, Florides beat Kai last week, and then Kai beat Devops. Confusing everyone. Jack, maybe Jack's just really good. Jack is a dash attack monster. Yeah! If the whole of our set came down to like when is Jack gonna dash attack me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was usually very soon. It's so it's so <laughs> weird going from like Davox to cut uh, to Jack. It's like yeah. I should be scared to grab against like Yeah. Oops. Um anyway, yeah, let's see. Why the no, no. Are they starting? Okay, they are starting. Oh. They're absolutely beginning. Kai's yeah. got the angles. By which I mean he goes up a lot. He sure does. He's an up guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, we should probably just have this set uh, uh, for now. Um, How did you go in Schmaltzman? Didn't do that bad. I um, came... Oh, let's just go. Went to, to like, loses round four or something. Did he only do like three wave dashes back in a row and then four tilt? Loses round four, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I actually enjoyed the game. I, I think I'll um, play it more at a certain point. But, um, you grind your way to second on the PR in that game? <laughs> that stinks, man. <laughs> oh my god, she quiet. God damn it. Ooh, kicks. Okay, we got everything. Cool. No. Yep. I know you know how. All right. Oh, let me do it. Let me do it. You want to? You want to Oh, no, I've accidentally dragged. I've dragged. I'm dragging. Isn't that good? You want to, like, drag it? Yeah, you want to yeah. arrow. Oh, all right. So if you drag, you get up and down these, but if you arrow, you get side to side these. If you understand what I'm saying. I sure do. And so do the five year old kids in our chat now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, Ollie's just literally four stocking Kai. What the fuck? And he's saying, come at me, bro. It's five minutes, 55 seconds left. Okay, grab. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay well, you know. That, that's the Jack Stoll tech chase. But, like, you know. So maybe it'll work. Maybe yeah, it will. So like, he'll get maybe one grab, then he'll go, you know, he's going for a raid. What can I say, Donut? I'm a seasoned veteran of commentary. Yeah. Dude, my new housemate, he, he, uh, we got home, and he was sitting on the couch watching Lost in Translation. Okay. He was like, Nicholas, I'm watching Lost in Translation. This movie's so boring. I don't understand anything that's happening. And I was like, yeah, there's not a lot of action in it. He's oh, like, yeah, no, there's nothing. Nothing happens. <laughs> I'm, just pic just picture I'm just picturing in my mind the way he says Nicholas. Like, oh my, like, <laughs> Also, he was like, man, I really like the movies Fifty Shades of Grey and uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. I've based my life around those two movies. <laughs> You know, I'm sure this guy's a lovable person. I'm He's sure this guy's so funny. I'm sure, you know. He is lovable. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, well, anyway. Oh, he takes that one. Kai made a good showing at the end there. Oh, damn. He's like, yeah, I got this win. I got this game. I didn't need it. Yeah. FD does a lot to sway sheets into picking up the characters. Yeah, exactly. They're scared of it. They don't like yeah. the uh, the flat ground. They like the upwards ground. To be honest, I think, like, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Same FD, there. FD's a bad stage, 100% a bad stage every single this matchup. 
when Davox is like, man, I really hate it, I can understand that a bit more because his platform movement, his, his movement's so based around platforms. Whereas like Oli and Jack, it's like, the movement isn't really platform based. Yeah. Like, I think platforms are a detriment to Jack. Right yeah, now. Oli's very like ground based. Yeah. He's very uh, old school, fundamental <laughs> melee player. Dash, dance, grab, you know, footsies, that kind of nonsense. Yeah. All the stuff that doesn't work in 2018, you can just CC and SDI and do cheesy things. Well, I should probably get on that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still a uh, really obnoxious uh, stage against Cargo, just because those lasers will get you. Oh, Ooh, good run under back. I love when Cheeks run under back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put the foot. I wish. When Falco is at 100%, you gotta give yourself a chance to react to the tech rolls. This guy's been tech rolling all game, mm. all set. And like, that's the 1% where you get money off a dash attack. Like, that's a kill. That was so good. He just ran up crouch, went to, I guess, react to tech in place, and then reacted to the tech wave. I doubt he reacted to tech in place. So. He probably just waited for the tech. I guess. To well. inside. Well, he's got that old school reaction time, you know? Uh, yeah. He's no Sora. Do you know who's insane at reacting to second place? Spud. Spud? He yeah. just grabs it every time. He, yeah. Or he like up tilts or up bees. He does like a, a situationally good thing as well as reacting to it. It's crazy. Down smash? Ooh, gets the crash cancel. Gets the down smash again. These Tomahawk grabs are just killing Kyrie. Absolutely right Tomahawk. He's just... <laughs> Just to be honest, you don't expect that old school cell shake to go for something like that. Yeah, exactly. It's Actually, a bit of a uh, old meets new fusion to make Nelly. Like, the shake thinks that grab is good. It's, and I mean, it is. A bit of east meets west, you know? Yeah. A bit of uh, east coast meets west coast. East coast meets yeah, yeah, yeah. Highly reads based, where, reads -based. you know, west coast tomahawks. Thinking man's game. Exactly. It is. Yeah. Mango, he's, he's, Ollie's got the Falcon Punch uh, Thought Bubble right now, and Kai's got the Math Equation Thought Bubble right now. <laughs> well, we'll see yeah, who's, who's yeah. gonna win. <laughs> oh, he just took that laser and had children. Yeah, I wish Bright could do that against that. I mean, yeah, Bright could do that against MSJ. Because they would have won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that set was something. Okay, so Kai's starting to react to these jabs a lot better now. Once you start either CCing or ASD down, they... Ollie's good, man. Who did he lose to? Um, Ribbon. Ribbon, yeah, Ribbon's also good. Yep. That's the thing about Melee, man. If you, you can be good and still lose, because there are also other good players. Okay, well, you know, he went for the... If he could tech chase, he'd be the best player in the room. <laughs> yeah. Except for Ribbon. Ooh. Except for Muscat. Muscat, yeah. Damn straight. No, I'm saying he'd probably still lose yeah, to yeah. Ruben, but he might be like you and Kai. If he could tech chase to death. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, last time we played, um, he got a lot of openings. Oh, he um, could have dashed back there and killed him. Oh, he CC that jab into F tilt. This is. Oh, he could have dashed back again. That's He's choking. It. That's it. Oh, yeah. it was like he slowed to the ledge there, choking a bit. But uh, Oli. That's a true Olivia. So Oli had like five chances to get a nice, easy dash attack reaction, but he went for something way harder and worse. And then eventually he got the kill. Well. Which goes to show. The big brain something. didn't work out. The Unga Bunga. Yeah. The Unga Bunga. Um. That time where you got the dash attack and it set up perfectly for a second dash attack. If you get another dash attack at 90, that's such a dead Falco. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's all. Um, he went for a fair. Dash attack is so good in this matchup. Can you do like DI behind the dash attack? You still like, get a forward air. Yeah, but it's like the wrong way. Like, you can still probably jump back and get it. Probably. Yeah, you think always gonna like jump fate back, make sure to space be fair properly, especially last talk. I don't think I get another dash attack. Now you get anything. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, it's uh, insane, insane attempt. Okay. Well, yeah. These like uh, instant aerials, very uh, plop esque, it's very Luigi esque as well. Oh, good, like, run cancel F build there. Oh, does the unsafe dare, but he understands that he's gonna probably get grabbed with shine, so he. Ah, uh, spot dodges. That's something a lot of people need to do more. When they just, when you realize that, like, the area you're doing is unsafe, just, like, putting in a spot dodge. Yeah. People love to do it. Sora loves to do it. Miles loves to do it. Bless the Sora. Sora's a P. Me, my fox loves it. My fox doesn't know how to do anything else. It's. <laughs> you know, Fox does it a lot. Fox. It really needs to do it more, especially against Samus. 
I mean, like, just in general against, like, Spot Dogs and Grab. Spot Dogs isn't that good against Samus. Like, what does it really beat? No, I mean, like, in, well, not, not in that situation, but in, like, um, pressure situations where, like, uh, Grab is getting mixed up. I see the React better to the Spot Dodge. And maybe to the Grab and the Spot Dodge. Yeah, but we're all old men. We're not gamers, you know? We're not gamers? I can, like, gamer energy. We're not Sock over here, right? We're not Sora. Sock did really well. I'm actually really happy with Sock. Yeah, that's it. He had such a... He should have been Duck as well. He really should have, yeah. That last, um... Bit of a choke, that but, uh, we all choked from time to time. Yeah. You should still be really happy with what he did. Seeing what Sora did. being really mad at the end of Grands was also funny. I don't know why I, he was so mad. I didn't watch Grands. I just was like, well, he's just gonna sandbag, so, like, he's probably just gonna win. And I looked at Blade and was like, free to I'm like, yeah. He lost with his mains and then he free him with Fox. And then he was like, Duck, you just cheese, you just a cheese, uh, you only try to cheese. Was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's just melee, man. Damn. Cheese. Everyone cheeses. Who ever feel the best cheese wins? See Spud, like, grab, miss, grab again. That's what it's about. Anyway, back to the action. This is explaining something very, like, fundamental to the core of Melee, which is that cheese is always good. Cheese, yeah? That's Mason. Come on, come on, man. We don't, we don't, need, these, we don't need these little jabs. We're supposed to be a tight-knit community. We don't yeah, well, I agree. We're supposed to all support each other. Exactly. We're supposed to support the scene. <laughs> Sometimes when people are down, we support each other. Yeah, well, sometimes when I'm down, I don't have any money left. <laughs> I, 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 I spend that money on melee tournaments. When, 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 do you, when do you enter a melee tournament and say, like, oh, darn, I can't, I, I left with less than I came? I mean, you know, back in the day, that could have happened. I'm sure it did. There were times in the past when I was hard on my luck, you know? The arena tournaments with nine people? Oh, that's... That? Yeah, when we had to pay like ten dollar, fifty dollar entry or something, and then we didn't get the entrance, it's lost stock. Kai's on his tournament stock. Musty, so why didn't you tell me? It's lost stock because all he did like, you know, when you see someone on stage, you're like, nah, I gotta hit him, and then he just he you, had to hit him. He had to hit him, but he did it in a way where he like didn't up B fast enough or didn't do the bear early enough. Yeah, a bit of an overextension. That's uh, yeah. that's the terminology you want. That yeah. deck. Missed it. That's hard. It's a hard tech away to cover. Falco goes a long way. He really does. Oh, this is this so scary for Kai. getting so many nice little baby interrupts on Kai. Oh, he knew he was going to like tech in. Like, he was okay, teching so in every oh, day for the rest of his life. Yeah, that should be. Yeah. No arms to tech either. I think Kai might have been able to cover it, but uh, he's dead there either way. Nah, that was close. I wonder where we're going. Imagine if Dombey beats Spud. That would also, that would be, I would be happier if that happened than if Catherine beat you. And that's saying something. I'd be happy if Catherine beat me. No, you wouldn't. I would. Why? Huh? Because it be, if, if, she, if, if she beat if me because I was playing terrible, like, because yeah. I was, like, just flubbing every tech, then it's like, you know, I'd be, you know, a bit annoyed myself. But if she's, like, beating me because she's improved to that point where she's able to take a set, oh, that'd be good. I'd be really happy, yeah. Plus, I could use that as justification to put Catherine in the last spot in the PR. Eight person PR? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so right now. Our PR is so bad. It's just a depressing PR. I think our I PR, think... I, I'm, I, really, I'm happy with, like, if we, assuming we do, like, a seven person PR, I think our PR is pretty strong. Yeah, luckily I'm, I came back and won yeah. big cheese. Well, you know, we have, <laughs> I think, I think a PR consisting of Nick, Davox, myself, um, you know, either Ruben or Kai, the other one, Black Shadow, and, like, Brad. Is, God, imagine if Black Shadow was good. We almost live in that world. Every single time Black Shadow yeah, yeah. is almost good, and he just isn't. <laughs> also, this time, you know... This is, Kai's um, winning now. Yep. He took the momentum from last game and he ran with it. And uh, Ollie was doing way better on Dreamland. I think that was a good stage for Ollie. He might have already won there, though. I think Kai may have gone back there a second time. Might be a fountain type of... Uh, set. Did he, he didn't win. That was a really good instant double jump. I, for all money, thought he was going to shine a light on the top platform. Yeah, definitely. But he got he got the double jump so low that he um, was able to not land on oh, the top Oh, that platform. was such a good bear. Huge bear. A drop bear. He's still not going to win, but... Oh, hey, don't count your don't chickens. Count. Don't count your roses before they've... Blossom, my friend. He's got three CC stocks to go, and like Kai, Kai likes his CC. So yeah. He also likes his spot dodge. It's pretty good. So um, he spot dodged, and if they didn't um, even read it or they just weren't uh, correct on their timings, then you get a shine. Shine is money. It's money. Big money.
So was that fair? Should be it. Yeah, lots of money at stake in this tournament. Lots of people's lost lost five dollars are at stake in this tournament. <laughs> you, 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 you're gonna harp on about this too. <laughs> I hop, man. I'm a hopper. Hop it, yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I'm one to hop. I've hopped before and I'll do it again. What are the good old times? The good old times between you and Masons. They were good. They were nice. That was when I was worse than him. And yeah, well, yeah. yeah, you. No, you it's got, not like that. Anymore. The time you got better, the you know ugly monster came out on both of you. Him for his you know bruised ego. Yours with your newly found ego. You're like, you know, I'm better than this guy now. I, I was. I don't him well. You treat him like shit. I, don't, I never, I never I treat Mason like I shit. Know, yeah. I'm always nice to him. You are, you are. What? I am. I'm, I'm nice to him. Overall, overall. Kai taking game two. We might see reverse three uh, unless Ollie can uh, figure out what he's missing in the last couple of games. Kai's got a look of satisfaction on his face. Look at yeah, that. that. That is a man who's man, like. Man, I have figured this out. Yep. There is no way I lose this. He's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> He clutches his, uh, his Jesus piece, that's, I assume. That's the type of face I've got when I'm like 2 up against a Falcon. I'm like, I got FD. I can lose this next game. I've got two FD games. Yeah. Yeah, that's the face. Yeah. That look of like, yeah. He's gonna go to Fountain? He's gonna go to Pokemon? That's a weird. He's a wild man. Pick. He's what a the? crazed man. He's an absolute. Uh, uh, what's the word from crazy man? Lunatic? Yeah. That was the He's word deranged. For. Yeah, here we go. That was the word, you know. Uh, I've been using that word a lot lately because yep. there's certain people who have come into my life. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I don't get his pick at all. He doesn't want the top platform, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Think outside the box for once. He likes is the color green. Uh, is that why his NXV kept going back here? Actually, didn't, he, yeah, didn't ZXV go to the stage? Yeah, with Fox. Oh, yeah, it's Fox. Yeah. And also, Green Fox is buffed on this stage. Buffed it's on this stage, yeah. to see him. Oh, nah, interesting choice. Oh, oh, oh that's huge nah. That was actually, that's massive because he's one back throw away from him. He's two back throws away. He's absolutely a number of back throws away not from the know. evening. Oh, he's... They still won. Just needs to hang on to the legend. I'm pretty sure if he's new, like Kai doesn't want to lose this. Yeah, Kai's Kai will lose. He's him. running a train right now. Mm. He's driving a train. He's conducting the train. Okay, nice. All aboard. I realized as a spacey like di diing down for it one way, then taking the other way is just worthless. It just never works. Yeah, they're not reacting. It's like if they're not reacting. They're probably covering taking place. Yeah. It's like good for the meme against bad people. Yeah. I'll do it against Davos, and we just cover it easily. I'm like, what am I doing? Well, the thing is, when you play against a pro gamer like Davos, he will cover everything. He's getting, he's getting really good. At he's still got like some slight errors in his, but I'm really excited to see his um, how he progresses. <laughs> oh, that. insane upbeat! Oh, oh yeah. he's crazy! Oh, back there's back throw. <laughs> Oh, he didn't. He gets second chance. Oh, that's oh. really weird, Edge. I wish he just like jumped off the back end one of those times. Just yeah. did like an instant shot off back air. That's the classic Mewtwo King quest left and Oh, he shielded. That's he didn't spot dodge. That's that's the type of shield you go for when you're scared, when you're terrified of that dash. Or well, maybe he's like, I've spot dodged five times in a row. Maybe he'll wait. And he didn't. <laughs> you're right. I do give people. Oh, that's it. That's. Huge Ooh, clutches can, from Ollie you can see, this game. You can see it in Ollie's face. He had quick, you know, breathe in. He, he knew that he. Ollie was shocked. Yeah. He was like, damn, I'm the guy could win this? Cool. <laughs> damn, people still was bad? Yeah. Damn, no. I'm cheesing. I, 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 I. <laughs> he is cheesing, dude. This is yeah, what I like to see. He should cheese. He's yeah. 168. Well, what's a laser gonna do? Oh no. He's getting of, shot. Instead of the bear killing me, it's gonna kill me slightly faster. Yeah. Oh, what a terrible up here. I mean, you win some, you lose some. You had the best up of all time before. You got eight, counted eight percent from... Ollie's really good at waiting for just, like, options. Not out of, like, his, uh... Because he has one mode of tech chasing where he's always trying to react and he's always late. Yeah, yeah. And that's then... bad. But in, like, the little scramble situations where he gets, like, a little hit, he's good at, like, waiting there. 
in a sense, limitations. I think Ollie could do well to like employ that style oh, of tech chasing. Oh, that's oh, I from his down throws. No. Sometimes, if no. he knows he's gonna be late. And that's a really hard up B to get as well. Oh yeah, yeah. It's basically a face broken. That's you a hard mind. tech to hit. Oh, that's. Oh, oh what a di! Dude, that was the clutches. That, oh. oh, okay. And, uh, that's a huge one. <laughs> So kind of nearly clutching it out with a really sensible DI, but uh, yeah, unfortunately no. gets that down smash at the end. And uh, Oli takes it, 3-2, good shit. That was, that was a really exciting set. That's what you like to see at a local. Yeah. Keeping it reasonably close. Keeping oh. it 100, as, I, uh, as some would say. God. Keeping it a hard DI, as Musky would say. Musky would say, jeez. <laughs> You're never going to let me forget about that one, hey? No, it's the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever had. <laughs> Except for that my housemate based his life off Wolf of Wall Street and Fifty Shades Grey. That was probably number one. <laughs> like, when Gavin and I had a home, we just, like, there was a period where we just, like, so, so when the whole Yikes and Oof thing came out, I was like, I don't get it. I don't, like, and then, like, Gavin and I would just start using it, like, at home. I was like, oh. man, it's a, like, Oof. I like, I, then, I like Yikes. I, like, no. I don't like Oof as much. Oof doesn't roll off the tongue. You know what was another good one? Uh, I was playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with Liam and Clyde. Yep. And uh, Junior, my housemate, he called himself Junior. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're both called Nick. So. Okay, yep. And he's older than me. But that, he, uh, I, don't, I don't get it. Is that why he calls you Nicholas? To differentiate. Yeah. Anyway, he like gets up and he's like, I'm going to go have a smoke. Thanks, guys. And I'm like, thanks for what? He was like, thanks for being nice to me. <laughs> oh. All right. Goodbye. Damn, dude. Yeah, 3-0. Three 3-0? Zero. Three zero? Okay. So that means you and Ollie in these semis, and these guys in minus Yeah. Minus. Cool. Damn, man. You got the perfect DI on that F2. Unlucky. <laughs> Nick just usually destroys Musco, right? I don't think it's like destruction, but I don't, I don't think Nick will drop it again. Okay. That's my onion, unless. Right. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. 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 But boy, then boy. Ready? Go! Alright, we're into it. And Nick's slicing him up. Oh man. Good crouch cancel. Not a good dare. It just jumps out. Almost gets the tip of Oh my god. If you got that dunk from the top platform from the center stage, that'd be crazy. Come on, Nick. Nick's missed a few H guards. Looking like Catherine out here. Again. 
Maybe Muskus is so good at recovery. Got up way too early there. He had he like got up when his invincibility frames hadn't even run out. Nice. Musket didn't even react. I feel like he just knew he was gonna do it. And I mean, if he doesn't do it, well, he's dead anyway. Really good reactions. Okay, Nick. He was he was facing the wrong way when he shooted that get up attack. Oh my god. Oh my okay. He doesn't quite get a swaggy combo there. I mean it was looking promising, but oh my Nick's playing custom. <laughs> <laughs> and he's missing so many edge guards. Why is Musket at 169, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, finally. <laughs> oh. Nice. Gonna take a little bit more to do it though. Ooh. If he grabbed that ledge somehow, Nick would have been so upset. Oh man, we got the fox come out now. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Nick. Oh Nick. I guess we're on Dreamland, so we didn't want that CP advantage, but. Oh well. And Nick's just confident anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, he's, he was warming up his fox earlier, but. His, see how it goes. His moth. Despite winning, he was looking so rusty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Battlefield game, like he missed so many edge guards. Nice. Yeah, Musket gets me with that all the time because he's just like, you're not gonna. If I have invincibility, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and not challenge your uh, fire stall. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very good. Yeah, the weak backer is just like, it's all you need. Oh, sweet stock from Nick. Yeah, he had the invincibility from the ledge as well. So he's not getting burnt. Oh no, a bit of Atta's going. These guys aren't getting the crispy, crispy wave dashes and wave lands going. I feel like, like Atta would be like a good tag. <laughs> just like, like, a, shit, like a shitty fox has that tag. <laughs> Good. Oh, there's the weight on the roll for Nick. Usually pretty good with those. Uh, uh, usually pretty good at finding them. Yeah. 
the down air to catch my musket. It's good. Oh, no. Yeah, not quite making it to the ledge there. I'm gonna steal that one. I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure if Musket dropped his shield or if we just got ADT'd, but he had a full light shield and then got hit by a back air. And he lost his side basically because of that. Uh, yeah, I guess he must have dropped it. I like mixed full hops and double jumps. It's really good. You can't do it. Oh no, oh, even my. game. Even game. Uh, shine spike. Shine spike. Can I see the shine spike? Oh no, oh, like, he's using no jump. jump. Yeah. Jump. Oh, oh no. He just cruises down over there. <laughs> oh, that's it. That was my. That was by far the worst. I like what Nick did there, where he looked like he was gonna go out, but he did not, and he goes two zero up. Yeah. It's one game away from Grants. Good stuff. And Dreamland again, and we're going Fox Sitters again. No hesitation from Musket, he's just gonna go for it. I feel like he's more confident in the Fox Ditto than the Moth, so may as well. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Yeah, Shmultimate Ultimate sure had 41 entrance. <laughs> That's sick. It is really good. Do you know what the that biggest was. Smash 4 tournament was? That we had? Thir less than that, I'm Damn. pretty sure. That's awesome. I don't think we've had a bigger local, which is really great. That, yeah, that's heaps good. I wish more of the Moolu people showed up. None of them wanted to come over. Nah, uh, we got we got a couple of them, Rakita and uh, Yellow. This oh kid. yeah yeah yeah, no oh, they're awesome, they're dude. Guys. The first time that Yellow kid play, was playing, he, he was wobbling people. Yeah, I taught him. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, here's how you do it, because he was trying to like, oh I want to do the chain grab. I'm like, oh here's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like get him while they're young. He says he's never played played before. Why does he know how to fucking like, wobble? I guess he I guess he had a rough idea. Yeah, like, maybe I can it's, do He'd thing. seen it, yeah, surely. Oh no. Oh, no. He doesn't use a jump though, so that was clutch. But he goes for the ledge there? He wasn't that high percent, so. Wait, was he? I actually didn't see. No, I think about he, it. he was 140. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. We'll have a nice day yeah. then. Ah, miss. Just a little pivot. Around, bro. Wow. Alright, I didn't think Masuka was gonna go to the ledge there, but. It was good that Nick covered it anyway. Ah! Oh. oh my god, this could be something. Oh, what an angle! What an, what an angle! What an angle! <laughs> Oof! A snangle! A snangle! A snangle? I say Nick Angle. <laughs> yeah, if you ever catch me playing Fox and pull that off, they're called Nangles. Nangles good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh no, that's a rough. That's a real rough stock to lose for Nick, I gotta say. Sorry, uh, musket. <laughs> yeah. It was good on Nick for to take it so decisively. Ah, no tech either. Not ready. He's like, oh, I'm getting train grabbed, right? Psych! But it doesn't matter. Yeah. He, he gets out with, like, less damage taken anyway, so... Musket wins that anyway. But Nick, all the pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, musket's kind of in the corner. Whoa. On the platforms, not really taking center stage. I oh, know. Oh no, oh. more up throws. And he, oh, oh! Oh! I like that. I love that. That's Good dope. shit. That's dope. That. Alright, so it's Nags in. Ollie and loses semis now. Custom. God, I'm so custy. <laughs> oh. Link that to Sora. Don't show him the rest of the set. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I realized? Staying warmed up at a major tournament is very, very important. Yeah. I never do it. I did it at Big G's. I just, like, didn't watch anything and had PCG warm me up. Yeah. It's legit just, like, being able to play friendlies all the time. Yeah. Because at BAM, I always just, like, watch and yell and then I get up on stage and, like, play really bad. And you're just like, what the fuck do I do here? The only times I've ever played well in tournament are, like, that BAM where I went from losers and got to play, like, five games in a row on stream. Oh, yeah. And then, that's really handy for warming up. Then SXC. I don't know what happened there. That was pretty sloppy for both of us. 
what last year. I don't think either me or Sora played that great last year. Yeah, it was pretty Two. like. Uh, oh, we're just going straight into Two. it. Legit! Two. Two. I'm gonna go play Friendos with Musket. I'm gonna put on a show in, in, in uh, Grand. All good. A real exhibition of skill. And that's good with Mario. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is dressed for the beach and one of them just walked out of a job interview. That's a very good way to put these player games, I gotta say. And bam, Ollie with the first stock. Ah! Oh, crap! No! He's got a bit of a, a bit of a fight ahead of him. I gotta say, he's gonna have to. I think we're gonna be in for a a five-game slobber knocker between these two because Nang's not. I'm gonna ain't gonna go home with fourth. But Ollie's looking to prove that he's still got the touch. And I think also NTC Nishik helps. Uh, but I don't think he's like he's not super tech chasey. He's not gonna go for them. Hard zero to death reaction tech chase. Oh, another good stock for Ali. I don't know why we went to Yoshi's for the first game. I th think this favors Sheik a bit more than I do Samus in this matchup. But you know, different strike for different smashes, as the saying goes. However, thanks, still a little, little bit of fight left in him. Here comes a cloud and nice tip up back air to clean that one up. I love the. Oh, we got that follow-up, it was really nice. And now he's stuck in the corner, we're having a battle of the spot dodges here, and... Oh, I love Nang's DI, just going straight to the ledge there. Really great DI. The dash attack, gonna lead into F smash, and we've got an opportunity for Nang's to even it up. Nice! That was like a nice turnaround back air, or like a pivot back air. Oh, an F smash! I like it. Thanks. looking real poised to take this one. I love the Nair to make sure he doesn't go to the cloud. And suddenly we're back to even stocks. Oh, he waited a perfect amount of time to get his 3%. But now he's stuck in the corner. Oh, and there's the down smash. Oh, up to it. He has no jump. He's got to go to stage. And up to it again. And we thought he was going to a platform, but he did not. Ollie. Got to clean this up real soon. Otherwise, things might be able to run away with it. And there's the back air from the ledge to take the tether. Oh, and the needle too. That's going to be it for Nangs. And Ollie takes game one. Looking strong today. Oh, uh, definitely a newfound Ollie. He's been part of the scene for a very long time, and now he's finally back in action. He's been in and out, and it's good to see him perform well. I'm going to fight for the second game. I was worried that he was going to take me here uh, as Sheik, but he doesn't look like he uh, likes this particularly that much for Sheik, even though I think it's pretty good. And it looks like Nangs might enjoy it a bit more. I think the counter picks are pretty similar for these two, if I'm being honest. Um, except for maybe Stadium, I think that one will be a bit better for uh, the old. Even though um, Ollie can get a bit better kills, a bit easier kills with the old, uh, with the uh, fair. Even though he can get a bit easier kills on Stadium, I think this one isn't too bad either. That was a hype game. It was an almost comeback from Nangs, but Ollie clutching. I think that's Sheik, the NTC Sheik 
really helping with Ali's follow-ups. He doesn't have to work as hard for him. Just get the grab into a fair and you're, you're Gucci, man. And Neng's going to stage, eating a down smash, and Ollie again going the first stop. Going up on the first stop. I also might need to go to the toilet real quick stream, so I'm going to be a B. Boys back after a quick run. And Nangs, one suck away from going 2 0 down in the set, but the great short drop to be back here helped bring this one back for him. He's still got quite a lot to go though. Like, just looking at this. Yeah, couldn't eat that one. That's it. Ooh, 2 0 to Ollie at the moment. Making some. Taking some names this tournament, man. Ollie's. Ollie's back, baby. Going back to FOD 2. I think respectable decision. However, not sure how much it's going to pay off. Oh, that was such a good up tilt. And he's going to stage, but he rolls up so he doesn't get a punish. So he kind of gets the after punish anyway. And he's just going to tack on a little bit more percent. I love the push off the platform there to hit him with the back air. He's really smart. Oh no. Ah. Alright, I like the charge. The tackle. And another one. Okay, it's super sick DI on the fair by Ollie. Gets right out of there. Oh, I like the idea from Nang, but he just barely misses. I mean, I say barely, but like I'm sure the hitbox, I'm sure Nang will actually tell you how <laughs> small the charge shot hitbox actually is. So, not sure how close it really was. However, Nang's still got to clean this one up pretty quick before 
this last his last game in, in losing semis is over. Because now, look at all this damage. Ali's got the eye of the tiger today. He's calling out all his recoveries. Uh, he's letting him back for free there and gets down smash. But Ali's still looking way better than he used to. Which is really cool to see, honestly. Alright. Like the quick combo from Nangs, but doesn't get. Oi! Oh, big kill! Really big kill for Nangs, and hopefully you know, we might see him bring it to a to a two-one. But suddenly, an even two-star game all over again. Oh, and there's the grab on the tackle. Ollie's been really good at like not getting hit by those most of the time. Oh, no. Nah, 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 nah. Not that punishable. Oh! Could have rolled up! That could have easily been Ollie's stuff, but now, now he's got to work for it. He's, it's not working out for him. That was, that was such a pivotal moment, honestly. And now here we are. Like, what's going to happen now? Oh. And there's all really, really all you're going to get there. Oh no. Alright, like the missiles. Here we go. And the cute little cutesy little charge truck cancel to make Ollie second guess him himself. Oh no. Over 100 get up is gonna leave him vulnerable. Or not clean up the edge guard because of it, actually. Kinda where I was going with that. Uh, Ollie's not gonna. Oh my god, I did not expect that to kill, like 120, 110. That cheap NTSC up air really just killed Samus off the top of FOD. This is going to be a bit of an ask for Nengs to bring back now. If he doesn't clean up the stock soon, Ollie's going to run away with it. Uh, Ollie's. I like Ollie, like just going to the ledge like that. He, he did it to me a fair few times. That was good to see. Oh, down smash. He's looking for this charge shot, but not yet. He's that extra percent. Ollie's got to be careful not to get comboed here. Oh, oh no! Went the wrong way. And the tomahawk, the full hop, the empty full hop in a grab. Ollie's been really good with that. Also. Nangs doesn't really upgrade much against you. Oh no. The Clanksies. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. One more chance. Oh no, you guys are saved. That's it for Ollie. And he... It's 2 1, baby. Alright. I like the attempt from Ollie. He wanted to end it there and then, but. Nangs gonna live a little longer. He's got a game in his pocket, and but he's got Ollie's counter pick coming up. We're going FD! This is Ollie's pick. We're going FD. Chic. Hit that down throw, baby. I'm looking forward to it. What's up, everyone watching? Thank you so much for tuning in to Revival SA 6. Watching some South Australian melee. Please follow me on Twitter at Katie Kaiser. Be informed on all of our, all of our doings in South Australia. And also follow at ASC Smash Central on Twitter. It's where we post a lot of our event info. Back to the match. And this FD game. Working out pretty well for Ollie. Oh, such good neutral. Finds that grab and leads into up air, but I'm kind of quite killed for that. And a little soft net. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Ollie didn't want that. This game is starting to slip away. Oh my phone. There it is. Already, Ollie just racking on the damage. This fair is he's getting so much mileage out of this sheep loader. Oh, and the missile, the, sorry, the needles. That's a really clean stock for Ollie. He's doing very well. Oh, I'm well for himself. Pretty, 
pretty impressed with all these tournament runs so far today. Sheik's definitely picked it up a bit. I think he's just like, just kind of play, like he's just kind of playing the little small mix-up game, putting him in the situation, and then getting that empty hop grab. You'll see it a few times, but also all these movements getting a lot better too. Oh no! -y! Three to one stocks. Neng's got so much work to put in if he wants to bring this to losers finals. Playing musket. But, and he can't really trade that much. Because he needs to save a lot of his percent for like the last moments of the last stock if he wants to bring it back. So this stock's got to be clean. He can't take much more than like 80%. Otherwise, it's probably all over Red Rover for him. And he's finding these dash attacks though. Hasn't really got any like big follow ups or anything, but. <gasps> Sick down tilt from Ollie. And look at how, look at the distance he's maintaining from Nangs as well. Just like wave landing away. I like that. Going to ledge, but Nangs doesn't cover it. He doesn't do the fast fall with the wave dash off stage. And now Ollie's oh, looking so strong. He's got 139 on this stock, but really anything will do it. But charge shot from Nangs is going to bring it to 2 to 1. Like I was saying, all this damage that's racked up for Nangs is just like, you gotta work with that and the fact that Ollie's now in crash cancel range, or crash cancel percentage range. And look how far off stage he is. He has to go for this grapple. Gets the up B, and there's not enough damage on him to. Oh no! Oh, he makes it back! Can't get greedy and go for a shield grab here though. He's, Nangs is trying so hard not to lose this one. Gonna get the ledge for free. And all these moves are starting to, starting to show. Oh! The full hop is so safe, and that's gonna do it. 3 to 1 for Ollie, and we got Musket versus Ollie in losers finals. Big game for Ollie to take him. We're gonna see a matchup we haven't seen in quite some time. Musket versus Ollie. So Ollie, Ollie, make, Ollie making a run. The goat of South Australia. He makes it back. He's back. He's back. He's like he never left. Like, like he never left. It really does feel that way. <laughs> Although he is playing a different character. Uh, I mean, he always kind of had a sheep. Yeah. It was always there in the background, like you know, like the old. Uh, in the shadows. Yeah. Like the old grim sheep waiting for its opportunity to strike patiently, stalking its prey. And that was it. You could say that. So who do you reckon is going to win this? Not good. Yep. Yep. But on the Fox, other hand... Fox good. Yeah, but Sheik. Cheesy. Yeah, but Fox cheesier. I think Musket can be... He's susceptible to cheese. Yeah, yeah, for sure, but like... I don't know. I just think up air, up smash, shine. All those are just kind of like, kind of like wave shining. I mean, Musket typically typically loses to Devox. Yeah, I think, I think Ollie's is, is as good as Devox. He definitely doesn't have the punish game that Devox has. No, but he's got a lot of good little tricks. And he's got a he lot tricks of good you awareness. On, yeah, like, he tricks you on offense situations. pretty well. Yeah. Um. And like really starts to get in your head when you're like defending against him because like because he's chic he really abuses well not abuses but like he plays into the fact that he scares you into shielding so he gets the grab gets the grab that he wants but here we are we're going into it the thing is he doesn't get that much out of the grab so yeah I feel yeah. better about shielding yeah exactly right but his reaction seems to be on point right now maybe a lot of people kind of primarily practice tech chasing against Fox and so their tech chasing is way better against Fox yeah true. Also, all these movements have like, gotten a lot better, dude. like throughout the day as well. Yeah. Oh, that dash attack! Oh my god, yeah, the reverse, the reverse empty company. Grab. Insane grab for Musket. Musket good at like grabbing the run forward, uh, attempting to overshoot. Playing Sheik's just like moving an ultimate. 
to me now. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> it's just like, oh, jeez. But better. Yep. Yeah. Uh, still feels nicer. Still feels nicer, yeah. I like being able to like crouch with the streak. Yeah. Do the cat claw dash. Oh, big first stop for Ali. Huge. I think Musket full hop Ned and on the way up hit a needle on the ground. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, actually. It's gonna be. I actually. Oh. Two, 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 two. Ollie's moving, dude. Yeah, after after, after like seeing this first stock, I'm like, I don't know. Was Ollie a big cheese? No. Why? I don't know. Oh, he could have won it. <laughs> Sora. You got nothing on this one. It's true. Well, I would have eliminated Sora, and Ollie would have sent me to lose this. Yeah, and then Ollie would have cleaned up the scraps. Yeah. Easy. Zombies that don't park as well, isn't he? Yeah. That's gonna be funny. I gotta, I gotta watch some of that when I go I hope Zombie gets to play Spud and then wins. That'd be pretty epic. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Drunken Australian gamer. <laughs> that was gonna do it though. I hope Spud does well. I've not been loving his recent tweets about burnout. About I just want to see a confident, yeah, burn out the, oh, yeah, the right. famous racing game, yeah. and also condition that you can find yourself in. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ollie's like, I feel like one thing about Ollie is like, you never get the sense that he's playing with any like inkling of fear. Yeah. Like, you might be able. To oh, <laughs> that was a brutal reverse. Fit. Oh, All of no. That. Uh, like this. Yeah, like when you're playing against Ollie, it because it doesn't seem like he's trying oh, to do a lot at any given moment, you really feel like the impact of his decisions. And then when you, as like the game goes on, you're like, how do I make him flustered? That's the thing I notice from a lot of good players is they're very deliberate. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been that like deliberate. I like move in a flurry, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel that like very, very similarly. But I watch like uh, Decca or like someone, like someone of that level, or like a uh, Psych maybe, back in the day. And they yeah. would just be like very deliberate with every choice they made. Even SD has that kind of aspect. Yeah, there, I would say. SD is like one of those cases where he knows when to turn it up. Yeah. So it kind of gets you extra rewards on, in, like when he puts you in those situations. But yeah. um. We're going back to Dreamland. And Bright has been super. Yeah, a yeah. Lot. I think it's just an old school thing. Yeah, probably. They're like comfortable like, with waiting. Yeah, comfortable with waiting and also comfortable with like not committing to anything. And they like, also kind of came up before PPMD made everyone just move like crazy idiots. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone just wants to like dash dance. Yeah. At all times. Oh, big wave shine. How smashy. Nah. And not be. Not kill yet. Uh, like you just see Ollie just like he just runs to the other side of the stage sometimes. Yeah, I try to do that in ultimate all the time. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just no. get stuck in between. Like get get kind of you can't face through them. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Try to do run forward, run through S Smash so many times against Liam, and it would have worked. But would have worked. Uh, I think it sucks that there won't be any like real big mechanic changes for the game because I just feel like I can use a couple. I don't understand why they made. You can't walk through people. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what does it add? Uh, but it's like fighting game. It's like fighting game. It is look, kind of like look, a fighting game. Look, now, we we, we are like fighting game. That make us fighting We're game. We're now legitimate. Yeah, you can tech throws in that game too. Yeah, you can actually. That was, that was gnarly when that happened to me for the first time. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh, love that tomahawk. Yeah, because it kind of makes you like, like that kind of tomahawk, right? It makes you really like second guess yourself. It's like, why am I shielding at the ledge like that? Yeah. And then so you, you start to move a bit and then you like mess up something SD and you're like, ah. Oh. The next time he catches you jumping out of shield. Yeah. It's a whole vortex, but you have to do the option that beats the first level to unlock it. that laser. Or if it's musket, you can just tomahawk him over and over again. True. Probably the same with you. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Ah, I like that. Good oh. choice to down tilt. I think he definitely wanted to turn around Needle there. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Needle was completely accidental. 
Nah, he like accidentally got snap back and turned it around. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you went for it all. I back, I would have survived, but he would have had the. Oh, again. He's such a. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he going to adapt? Maybe. <laughs> It's so scary, really need man. To. That's scary. He doesn't really need to adapt. This is the thing. Like, no, right, if no, he's right. losing, he'll like go home and think about it. But uh, I don't know. We'll see whether he cons on to this situation soon enough. And like, even though Ollie's kind of getting these like cool little, cool little moments for himself, he's still kind of behind the eight ball. Yeah. Oh well. I think he can take Such a game at this point, but oh. Oh. Crazy short end. It's getting spooky here. Yeah. <laughs> Very frightening. Oh, these these chic full hops. They're just getting me so antsy now. I must get. Oh, All he's moving though. He's got yeah, such yeah. smooth movement. I think Except he's that. just making you feel that way with, because of uh, Sheik's back with full hop. He's just like, doing such a good job of like playing outside the footsie's range. Yeah. Like, which is like, you know, Oli fighting games 101, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's the old school player. You just want to oh, be there it is! Range at all there times. it is! The big spot dodge. Uh, bet out of the grab. Yep. So, Oli got four, but he's gonna have to change it up. Oh, no! Two grabs, baby. Two grabs, you can't go. You can't do that. Yeah, it's not a real life. Whoa! Absolutely booted. <laughs> How's the weather up there? <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Every time. Had a couple of those at Big Cheese, too. Yeah. Oh, he's got to dig deep now. He can't go back to Dreamland, really. Yeah, but, and oh, yet. but he doesn't. And yet. And yet. Oh, he doesn't care what you think, eh? It really does not He's matter. An old school player. He's playing without fear. Oh, that spot dodge. Oh, this is so huge. Oh, man. Ah, uh, drops a zero to death, man. Yeah, he's playing with his food a bit. Hey, oh, there again. There we go. There we go. He's back in it. That's such... It's such a consistent thing. It's crazy. It's happening yeah. like every 10 seconds. Yeah. Once he's going to clean it up, though. He didn't need much to clean it up, either. If Ollie was good off a grab, oh my god, getting like four tomahawk grabs would just be the set. <laughs> oh man, like, it would also like be that much like scarier for you because like, oh, I'm, I'm never ever gonna shield. Yeah. And then bap, he's gonna hit him with the fair. Uh, Not even a rising there after yeah. that either. All right, it's okay. He gets a rinse repeat. And good way to really good. Hey. What's up, Donut? Wispy coming in with a clutch assist there too. I think Fox actually might have been able to make it back. A bit close. Oh, no up tilt. More down smashes though. Uh, we out here. Press and C stick down. Yep. Hey, I like it. The, the, the classic chic recovery mix up. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. Good. The donut tag. Oh, I don't know. Dino. It's a dare. You can get away with anything if it's a dare. <laughs> Alright, so now Ollie's starting to fish a bit and he's gonna cost he's gonna cost himself a stock. Just getting hit by an up smash trying to trying to smash him himself. But oh, well. he's got a few more to play with and like I think this is gonna I think this game's gonna come down to the last stock for both of them. Um I don't think either of them are gonna make it out alive with their second stock attack. Oh, Dash attack into oh, fair, but oh, okay. I thought he was going to needle turn around to grab the ledge, but uh. Um, That's pretty close. He does, he did. Musket needs to wave shine him. He hasn't wave shine him in, in a minute. Musket really should have known that Ollie was going to choke the edge guard and then he could have gotten the ledge there. And not going for the super okay. horizontal angle, but whatever. Oh, sick up to him. Ah! Crash cancelling it. Oh, Fix he's me. Tomahawk getting caught in shield and spot dodging. Oh, uh, if that was a fair instead of a nair, Musket would have been in a bad spot. But this is the timeline we're living in where Ollie's going to have trouble getting down. Uh, William May, you just go to your first tournament. <laughs> you just turn up. It's that simple. Um, yeah, if if you're in SA, though, join the Facebook group, uh, facebook.com slash groups slash SA Smash. Ooh, last stop. Uh, yeah, facebook.com slash groups slash SA Smash. You'll find your way. Uh, we're also on Twitter at SA Smash Central. Oh, that's it. No, he doesn't. 
doesn't get to the ledge. He's he right away. Nice. He said, get me away from that. Yeah, I don't want to get burned. Yeah. Needles? Uh, he should have Surprising that they didn't hit that. I'm surprised more that he didn't get... Oh. That's it. The read. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, that, that was the needle I was expecting. <gasps> oh, oh, no, he's going to get a shot. No, he's not. Too nervy. Oh, uh, terrified. Oh. Really clutch tech from Musket. All right. Musket can turn this around, but he can't get D-Smash. Oh, sick F-Tilt. He ran forward and then popped the F-Tilt out. I like how you with one of those in, in your set, and uh, it's because he runs forward and it looks like he's like not going to commit to it, and he does it so slowly and like... Yeah, yeah, it comes out so much later than you expect. doesn't look like Plop. When Plop does it, he just runs up and does it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, all he does is like slow, bad-looking one that catches people because <laughs> they're like, he's running at me with a dash attack. Wow. <laughs> Ollie on the board, though? I'm liking this? Yep. Uh-oh. I wanna so we we're not gonna we're not gonna see a 3-0. So what I lost five dollars. Who did you bet? No, I didn't bet. Uh, but if I if I was in a timeline where I did, I would have lost five. Yeah. So a version of you did lose five dollars. Yeah, somewhere in the multiverse. You you bet Mason and he didn't pay up. Oh <laughs> Hey, the Kaiser. <laughs> Grim Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. You can clean this up, but I don't know about that. Up there? I mean, it was a pretty rough angle. He needed to, like, jump off the ledge earlier. Ooh, Ollie really scaring me with his wave dashes to ledge. Yeah, they're not like Chris. He's looking a bit scared to whoa, whoa. edge guard. Whoa, whoa. He's at the ledge. He's getting comboed. Alright, Musket's also hesitating a little bit, but he knows that he can uh, <laughs> take that from the other time. <laughs> um, but yeah, he knows that he doesn't have to like punish everything. Yeah. So that's gonna work out pretty well for Musket. And as long as he doesn't fall for these, uh... oh, it's over. that's a it's zero. Over. That's a zero to death. <laughs> it was clutch. Uh, Ollie wins. Ollie Ollie's wins. got this now. Oh, he didn't use his jump. I thought he did for a sec. Alright, laying the needle mines. They don't pay off. Yep. It's, uh, it's playing the long game, you know? Maybe he'll run into it with a dash attack and get the punish. Ah! Oh. Can't just fall down like that to the ledge, shall I? Like, Musket's the type of player to put out, like, three bears and hope one of them hits. Well, Willie and May, you've got no excuse. Just show up. That's all there is to it. Yep. Show up, bring entry fee and venue fee, if applicable. Oh, this is looking so good for Musket. No jump on Ali. Uh, and go straight up Legend. That's it. We've got Grand all Finals, right. Musket versus Nick. Musket gets up, thinking he's in Melbourne again. <laughs> where, where is he? <laughs> when's, your, when's your flight, Musket? <laughs> all right. We got Grands. We got Musket and Nick and Grands. Congratulations to Ollie making a good run for himself and making it to lose the semis where we go home with third. And we got these guys playing it out for the first. Valiant effort by all the gamers involved. We're it's here, it's 8.45. The last set of the day. Oh, it's okay if you're um if you're young William. we we had like a bunch of like I don't know. I don't know how they were actually were, but they were very young kids. Like I want to say, I don't know, ten years old or less. We had like maybe three of those in the venue playing Ultimate, playing Smash Ultimate. One of them, in fact, uh, eliminated me. So big ups. Uh, we're doing reverse mains, so. Uh, Musket's playing Moth and Nick's playing Fox. Alright. I should have known by Nick being the piss caller. The piss, the piss player 3. Alright. We, get, we got a reverse mains grand finals. Musket coming from losers bracket and Nick and winners on the Fox versus Moth. Hell. Oh, 
Uh, this is going to be an interesting one because I have not seen these guys play a reverse mains match before, but already Nick looking strong out of the gate. And he's in winners, so Musgo got to clean up two sets to, uh, to take home, the, to bring home the bacon. Nick keeping it clean. Musket showing the cracks in his mark. Oh, big charge up. Charge one for Chapos if you're out there. Um, <laughs> it doesn't pay off at all. Musket's having a hard time closing out this stuff. He just hasn't found a tipper or a down air, and he, he seems to be lost for how to, how to locate the kill confirm. Locate the lamb sauce. He needs that fox sauce right now. Ah! On the verge of a force up, Nick in, in dominant form. That up air just completely missed because of the tech roll. Really clutch. Ah, he's off stage. Down it. Bam. All right, Musket's got two on the board. Finally, he's gonna bring it back. That's gonna do it, Nick, with the first game victory. And Scrattles is leaving the building. Peace out, Scrattles. Thanks for coming. Going into game two. We're going to FD. No neutral start. These guys know what's up. And we got a chain grab going, but Musket. Not that not on that young Moth main. Um, consistency on the zero to death. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Falling out with a dare. Peace out to the Smash Ultimate lads. They're all packing up too. Here we go. All right, not, not gonna get anything off of it. Nick trying for a super sick M2K angle, but he's not gonna get it that time. Goodness, I really killed. I didn't see that coming, but I guess FD does have a smaller ceiling than uh, Battlefield. Oh, got a combo side from Nick, but he drops it at the last minute. Now Musket in the corner. Nick, oh! Sick ass smash. That's gonna do it. Musket on his FD counter pick is about to go 2 0 down in the set. Alright, what's Musket got? He's cooking up something, but he forgot the seasoning. He forgot the salt and pepper with that tipper, but he's going to clean it up because uh, it was well cooked, that combo. Oh, these deal tilts are actually paying off for him now, off stage, but he doesn't clean up the edge guard. doesn't have that flow chart that Nick has on his mark. But already he's starting to make something happen. Are oh, you from Mount Gambia? Okay, William. Yeah, we actually have, um, we actually have another one or two people but also from Mount Gambia, who you're part of the scene. Ha. 
Oh, off stage though, musket. Oh no, that's it. He went too low. He didn't do a rising fair. The absolute madman. And he's gonna go 2-0 down. Nick about to show must get up his fox. Everyone in the background is confused. They don't know who won. Nick won. He's playing fox. Oh, good follow-up from Nick, but the SCI way gets him out. Hey, that down smash really just happened. I didn't see that coming. Nick just looking so strong on the ground and Musket just knock at that that crispy punishes to um, make up for the fact that he's probably winning neutral a little less than Nick is. Oh Das Boot Das Boot That really just happened. Oh no, there's the first stop for Nick though. I say boys, help me get better at the game. Which game? I'm sure no matter what Oh my god, that punish! I'm sorry, can we just talk about Nick's punish for some? That that crispy wave shine out of shield on that dash attack? He's playing with fire right now. Ultimate or melee, of course. We were always there to help you improve in your local scene. Oh. Here we go. The end, there it is. The dunk. Dunkin' Dogs. Dunkin' Dogs. Uh, but Musket, it's his last chance to make something happen on, in this reverse mains grand finals. The event isn't reverse mains, but these guys just ended up doing reverse main. Nick looking so strong, he might even go off to finish this. Oh! That was a shine if he was if he had huge cojones. Oh, the spot dodge is coming out though. It's time for Musket to shine. The chain grab, he's got it unlocked. It's at the pivot grab. The re-grab after the up air. And he tries to catch out early with the press smash. Hey! I think he might have even got his jump there. Oh, he tried for the yes Nick has got. Or he just like go off and fair him. But that's gonna be it. And Nick takes it 3-0 in Grand Finals with the reverse mains. And it's time for me to get my car and pack up the stream. So I'm sure Nick is going to be here to 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 bounce it up with with y'all. So um, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna go get my car. Be back. Be back in like five, hey. Um, and then we'll get the stream packed up. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with Nick for the time being. If you want to talk to him, but uh, yeah, yeah, hey, I'm gonna get my car. All right, peace mm. out, guys. Follow Nick on Twitter at right? SNX Smash. Yep, I kept spud dodging and he kept grabbing me, but he's not very good, so it's fine. Thanks to everyone who tuned in, especially those who interacted in the chat. You guys, are the uh, the reason we do it, and for our own egos, mostly just for our own egos, nothing to do with you really. I'll see if I can get Musket. Musket! They want to interview the winner. They want to interview the winner. What do you think the Fox did differently against the Moth this time that really made the difference in the Musket versus SA Nick matchup? Um, you ever shoot down tilt more. I do. Mm. Um, I also use defensive down tilt more. Defensive down tilt more. Yeah, because yeah. you were trying um, to run and grab. Sometimes. I mean, I also do worse options with Marth. Like more yeah, you do. Patient, like I spot dodge way too much. That's yeah. one thing that I do. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of wiped. Wiped? Yeah, yeah I saw. Well, you've got no excuse because I saw you napping over there. Yeah, that no, that 15 minute nap helped. <laughs> power naps. That I mean, power nap actually helped. helped. Um, I want to eat some food. That's what yeah, I want to do. Me too. Um, no, I hope you don't think it's like, oh, oh this guy's like sleep joining or something. Cause, like, no, no, I no, don't. No, I yeah. definitely don't think that. Um, I know you're tired. One of those days. But, um, I'm not a big fan of joining in general, you know, usually. Because, I mean, like, most of the times, the Johns are, like, you enter the tournament knowing full well, you know, you've got those limitations, whether you're tired. Like, if I'm tired and I enter a tournament, like, I'm entering that tournament knowing I'm tired, and I can't really blame them, you know. Yeah. And also, like, it just steals the victory away from the victor. Yeah. Um, or it just makes the loser feel worse. It's like, it's just, it's a selfish move. Yeah. I feel like I didn't make any Johns at the Big Cheese, but I had one very large John overhanging the whole performance, which is that I hadn't played that much mm -hmm. in, this, in the month preceding. So I don't know whether if that hadn't been the case, whether I would have Johned more. I like to think no, but it's possible that yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we like to have excuses for when we do badly or when we do well. I think, that, I think at that point, you know, if you lose, you don't really want to, like... I don't think you would have Johned. I mean, you would've, maybe, maybe to, like... People here, you know, but you wouldn't yeah. have been like afterwards, like, yeah, no, nah, I'm just, you know, a bit out of practice. Yeah, see so, me in practice. See me in practice, you know. I would have said. Um, I'm better than you in practice, I would have said. There's lag on the TV. Get my money back. Ooh. <laughs> I would have said. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I was, yeah, whatever. I haven't taken the money yet. Ah, uh, yeah, Ollie left. Who is here to get food with us? Anyone? Catherine is. Is, is Ruben still here? I doubt it. He probably left. Damn, it's, probably just, it's probably just um, Jack. Just the soul. OG Smash the Gang. OG Smash Gang. Well, he's just not getting his third place uh, winnings. All right, fair enough. Well, <sighs> um, that's fine. Maybe I'll go home too. Yeah. Where is there even food that's open? Do you want to get some HJs? Yeah. I already ate that this week. You don't have to. Well, I mean, I've. Okay. That sounds like a much better idea. Yeah. Is it Dumpling King? Is that what it's called? Dumplings R Us, that's the one, yeah. Mm. Dumplings will make me feel better after I ate them than Hungry Jacks will. Definitely. I hope to go there. Yeah. It's not like it's that like crazy like expensive anyway. It's like it's Catherine, yeah. What do they win? Yeah. Thirty nine. Damn yeah. dude. I've made bank this weekend. Oh he's not getting a six dollars fifty. However will he survive? He won't. He'll die. Yeah. Thank you. Who's playing? Probably Kath. And Caleb. no one else. Caleb? Caleb. Yeah, yeah, Caleb. Caleb's a grinder. He definitely is. He played alright today. Have I told you my comparison about between Catherine and Caleb? No. Um have you seen that Simpsons episode with like Frank Grimes? <laughs> Catherine is definitely the Homer Simpson. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, one day uh, he's just gonna snap and he's gonna be He will like, snap he one will day. Snap one day. I, yeah. yeah. That's why I haven't been coming to tournaments. I don't want to be around when it happens. When it happens yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm 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 ready. I'm ready for just like the, yeah, some you know. Raw I'll emotion. just down smash and dash attack because mm -hmm. I'm Catherine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, like Peach Falcons actually like people are like oh Falcons like oh man you know old Peach is just no, Falcon but wins. Falcon Falcons obnoxious. Dude just dashes and you have to freaking play by his tempo. Kinda. It's um. And I like, somewhat know what you mean. It's that's why I prefer for I like. I actually absolutely hated the Peach Falcon matchup. Why'd you play Moth and Grands? We could have had you could have had a nice two set epic. Hmm? Or oh, at least you could take I To be honest with that at that point I was just like Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just done. I just wanna, you know, play some some for fun Yeah. Grands. Was, um you know. I've been enjoying Grands a lot more. I try to like not I don't know. Dude, like, dude I tried to throw last week first set because I just want to play more melee. Dude after Grands last uh, after after Grands last week you looked like well Last oh, moment. You looked like you wanted to fucking hang yourself. I was like, "Geez, dude, don't take you know." Yeah, but I went into it with a positive attitude. Positive attitude, yeah. and then facing Samus. But unfortunately, <laughs> Ruben just like got hit nine thousand. Like it doesn't. You actually just outsmart the man nine million times in a row, and it's just like, bloop. Yeah, you hit. You get you hit. Boop, boop, boop. Forward air. I just, I just toss turn him. Like, if he's like, when he's at that arc where like, grounded, grounded throw can like yeah, reach I him, toss then turnips. it's. 
Yeah, you should, yeah, you should do that more. Yeah. <laughs> when he's like, when really he's like, work on my turn up <laughs> game. <laughs> when he's like against that character. When he's high, it's just like you don't get to you don't get to have a perspective on this. You have the I easiest do. matchup against him. People are like, oh man, I'm play people, people are like, man, peace, peace, Samus is like, it's so on, it's like so my hard Mario for Samus. Just won. I, the thing is with my secondaries, I don't know how to seal kills. Ah. With Marth, I just like yeah. You, obviously, it's harder with Marth, but with Marth, I just like don't do dumb things as much. With Falcon, I'm like, oh, he's at 180. Time to go knee his shield and get grabbed. Or something like that. Yeah. I don't know how to play safe. Well, you work on that. Which is what happened in the set. Because I, I was winning clearly with both my Mario and my Falcon. In the, Mar games. the Mario thing, you were like ahead, then you just SD'd. Yeah. Can I get a comment on Rocket League as an eSport? Dude, that one, that one. To me, it looked like the one, like, the one drunk um, game I played at Eddie's, it, um,. It seemed fun. It looks really fun, actually. It looks really fun. I think of all the games that I would play, other than Melee, Rocket League might be the one. Mm. Just because it it, it's so intuitive. You just look at it, you're like, you're a car, you play soccer in it. Yeah. That's cool. It's not like, LOL, LOL and Dota make no fucking sense to me. They're just like, there's numbers and shit happening. Do you know about Donut's um, skill at the game? Yeah, he's a he's sponsored a, player almost. He's very good at it. He, um... Yeah. I also watched a lot of Mango playing Rocket League. And that was the one, like, Mango side game. Like, obviously, I like him doing his, like, single-player crap a bit. Mm -hmm. But of all of his, like, side esports, is, I think uh, Rocket League was the one that was most watchable. It's so, like, intuitive to the viewer. I think that's important in, in a game. Like, Melee, somewhat intuitive to the viewer. Fighting games, yeah. intuitive to the viewer. This one guy's beating up the other guy, you know? Yeah. You get to, like, you get a certain point removed from what's actually understandable to the layman with like lol and like dota those games make no sense whatsoever you see a bunch of or starcraft bunch of like visual effects going forth and yeah there's no real feedback on what you have to know like oh this 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 like visual when it connects is going to do this effect um yeah it's mine yeah nice well we solved that mystery yeah i mean I'm, i am gonna take it home with me see take it now <laughs> It's got my jumper that way, in it. That way you won't miss it again. It's also got my my um, entry pass or whatever for the big cheese. Yeah, I've still got one in mine as well. Lord Voldemort. Want, um, Lord Voldemort, anyone? I have, ooh. That's me. See, I have the yellow one because staff. You got to suck my son in the chat. After a stellar run at the uh, most recent Couch Warriors ran bet. Yeah. The big one. The big cheese, even, you might say. But you wouldn't. We have Bloggy in the chat. A legend. He did really well at um, Big Cheese. He played, he did. played quite well. I taught him today about how legend invincibility works. He was he was like, I don't know, he was wrong. Have you seen that? But um, we're all wrong sometimes. And the important thing is we can grow from being wrong. So you know, um, and seeing the light and the truth of our Lord Falco on the ledge. Have you seen that Kalen shaved his mustache? I have not seen that. He looks like like Blo I, I, he looks like Bloggity's older brother now. Bloggity and Kalen do look similar. Yeah. Yes, I can see the, the mustache. God. To me, it also does a fat stacks. Oof! I'm gonna make it, it rain. <laughs> I'm gonna make it rain at the Hungry Jacks. On all those unsuspecting drunk people. To me, dude, Hungry Jacks on a Sunday night. It's not a place you want to be. No. Last time we were there, it was. Ooh. Last time I was there, I got spat on. <laughs> yeah, and, and <laughs> homeless, I went with MSJ later, and it was just... Like, the the right kind of people do not congregate at Hungry Jacks on a Sunday night. Dude, I fucking lost it then. <laughs> you didn't lose it. You beat him up? No. What did you do then? I started, like, going, like... started. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... So I'm, you got I'm, away with it, is what you're trying to say. Huh? You let him just spit on you, and you didn't do anything. That, you see, the thing <laughs> is, that situation there is actually so hard for me. Because, like... Why? Let's say... Okay, so it's let's like say... Go let's to the say, gym, dude. Bulk off a bit. No, let's, say, let's <laughs> say I attack him. Let's say I attack him, right? Let's say I do kick his ass. He, he was pretty thin looking. You should you know. have spat on him. Yeah. Um, you should have kicked him in the ball. You should have sack tapped him. Kick, kick the shit out of him. Get an assault <laughs> charge. No, don't do it. Because some fucking... You should have grabbed his burger and ran. He didn't have a burger. You're just sitting there. Because they, they just let homeless people skin. Well, you should... Because... You sh whatever. It's a tough no, situation. I just start, I just, I you're started, right. It's I started yelling the, at him. The pendulum has swung too far in favor of homeless people and, my, and marginalized people's rights. He doesn't care if he gets an assault charge. It's hard to be a white he guy with money now. He doesn't care if he goes to jail. <laughs> Jail's probably a step up. <laughs> he gets he gets an actual roof over his head. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Wow. That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want, you know... 
He's so, probably trying to go to, he's probably like institutionalized. I get an assault he charge. Loves jail. I get an assault charge. That's a you know bad mark on, um, when employers. Think exactly. He cares. So that affects my future. Yeah, what are you gonna say? Uh, this homeless you have guy. You have no future. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was like, so yeah. It's I mean uh, like you should I see the other guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I didn't do anything. I was just. He was like, probably just saw this guy. He didn't. He didn't have food. And he just saw this guy. Um, eating food. And he was like, screw that guy. Yeah. You know, he, he was like, when the like store. I mean, when like one of the um employees was escorting him out, he's like, can I stay? Can I stay? I'll, I'll buy something. I'll buy some fries. Huh? Uh, yes. That one? The one that this one's grabbing right now. Oh, that one. Oh, I thought you meant the thick one. Oh, I helped. You did? I didn't. I actually hindered the process. Hindered the process. Well, what matters is you try. People generally are, you know, they can see someone making concerted effort to help, then... That's true, chat. Hmm. It's the thought that counts in this in this particular time of year. Especially. Unless you're really incompetent, then you know. That's that's something uh, I heard a lady say today. She said to another person, "What are you going to buy for your parents for Christmas?" And the the girl said, "I'm not sure." And then the old lady said, "Well, it's the thought that counts. So don't forget that. It's not about the money you spend. It's a little bit about the money you spend. No, it's the thought. I feel like it maybe with your family. Dude. It depends maybe on with it, your family. It, Mister, totally, I'm better than homeless people. It totally, that's so much money." <laughs> <laughs> it totally depends on how, like, the older the, the older the person is, the less it's important. Like, no, when it's like... Just, what do you mean? Make something, uh, dude. Be creative. Make something? Give them an experience. Experience? Give, give, them, a, give them a fright. Give a, just give them a free fright to see, scare them. See, that, that, that's the, um, <laughs> that's the, that's the plan for, like, Halloween or April Fool's. Just, you know. Yeah. Just, um... Dude, just go table diving. Find dude. enough, scrounge up some stuff, some foods. Uh, you know, just something um, that you can like won't go off really quickly. No, just get some red eye, re some red dye. Just put in the bath, fill up a bath, put some red eye, right, red dye, red dye. In it, and then just you know sit in there, look like you know you've slit your wrists. Bam. <laughs> That's good, man. That's, yeah. Pretend you commit suicide. Exactly. That's then, then when, then when they, then when they're like screaming, <laughs> you're like April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> April Fools, gotcha. <laughs> 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 Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> cut cut the stream. Cut the stream on that one, Musket. <laughs>